this You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. All right. Back live. Another YKWD after exciting fucking week of live entertainment. We had a live show at the Village Underground Lounge. Went off uh, extremely well, fun, funny, and awesome. And now we're back in the uh, Riotcast studios above the Comedy Cellar. Thanks to the owner of all, Gnome and the Comedy Cellar people. And I've got a fucking really quiet show today. <laughs> <laughs> Wowee. Uh, all right, so Lauren, why don't you go in the room and introduce everybody? Sure. We got Cypher Sounds here. Hi, hello. Hey. Who is fucking, uh, I mean, dude, let's, yeah. I mean, you had, uh, you have a, you had a massive radio show. Yeah. I mean, I number I one. Yeah, for a while. Number one radio show in New yeah. York. In New which York. Which is fucking. Number one market. Ridiculous. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, I mean, it. as a comic, you don't even get radio in New York. Right. Because it's so, it's so big and prestigious and you can't really get in unless you're huge exactly and you were on number one show yeah, hot, on 97. hot 97 for, i was there for 17 years Jesus. my morning Whoa. show was for about seven years that's a long time yeah that's a long fucking time it's pretty good and now you're here and now i mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah what are you just rubbing <laughs> it in what is going on yeah, and now you're on the 48th the basement, yeah. <laughs> you're on the 48th most popular podcast <laughs> <laughs> on yeah, thanks for having me <laughs> dude i you know it's funny because i saw you at the when i first saw you at the clubs you do have a um not, you're not a, you're not a, no 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 you're I not uh see, i want to hear this no seriously you have uh just quiet way about you. You're not like, yeah. yo, what's that? You know, like comics. You meet, cause, hey, how are you? I'm yeah. from fucking Cleveland, and you know, you know. But you're like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, to you my know? detriment sometimes. Well, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, once you get to know you, like you're, like you're not one of the guys that you go, hey, hey, you, you just start yammering to it. So like, right. Just, yeah. Is your idea of a flashy guy? Someone's like, hey, how you doing? I'm from Cleveland. Is that? The... I didn't say flashy. <laughs> we said like, like I said, a new comic in New York. Okay, you okay. added flashy. All right. Well, you, that yeah, was, you I didn't meant say, you, you, sh, you know, your body language said flashy. Hey, you should probably hold back in the pocket before you right, start great. attacking. All right, great. Well, <laughs> okay. I'll I just take get... the next, I'll sit the next one out, guys. Thanks. All right. <laughs> when you said flashy, you feel shut just, up. I'll just, I'll, I'll skip Phil's intro. Shut just... up, Pete. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, I got two problems. One, I'm very quiet off stage, like not performing wise. Yeah. Laid back, quiet. And then two... My, I look like I'm always high. <laughs> right. I've never smoked a day in my life. Really? Whoa. I thought you were always high. I never <laughs> once ever smoked weed, really? but it's just sleepy eyes mixed with allergies, mixed with no sleep. And people are like, this dude's fucking baked. <laughs> yeah, you like, do. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I never smoked. So I'm sure there's been uh. things where... I haven't gotten. You it. have uh, like your your eyes are like you should be fatter. <laughs> I, I, used to be, I used to be a lot fatter. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you because you have sleepy fat guy eyes. <laughs> hey man, what's going? We going? To, you know what I mean? Like I have a lot of friends. Like I'm, I was skinny and then got fat. But then there's guys that are fat their whole life. They're just just meant to be fat. <laughs> and uh, it's, a vi- it's a podcast, so you know that visual joke doesn't translate. But he was looking at me, guys. Yeah, Dummy, right there's you. five cameras in right, here, well. stupid. All right, you sorry, fuck up again. What's there's 600 you? people. Right what are we? I'm not. There's all right, fucking well, thousands of people watch the video on YouTube. All right, well, another one off. Sorry, guys. I'll take the next one off <laughs> again. Take that. <laughs> Even though it wasn't a bomb, it wasn't just, a bomb. It was I fine. Just like you're swinging like and bomb. hitting the dirt. <laughs> Anyways, man, welcome to the show. Thanks for I'm having glad me. to have you on, dude. Appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, you uh, you work in the cellar all the fucking time now, yeah. and I just started to get to know you. And then I went on. Um, I was I was randomly watching some stuff on um, on um, NWA, and then he had a fucking intense interview, great oh. interview with Ice Cube yeah. oh, wow. about what really happened. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, the good old, the good it, days. But I, I was sitting there, I was watching it, and I'm like, is that? Oh my, I was like, fuck, that's you. <laughs> I was like, holy <laughs> shit. But the video is great. It was yeah. all about, um, I want to get into that actually. 
let's interview the next guy who really is just not going to compare to any of that. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, no, Phil is one of my favorite people in the world, one of the funniest guys rolling right now. Thanks, Bobby. Um, and I believe, you, don't you have a new uh, an album out right now? I have a, a my uh, half hour is going to be on Comedy Central at 1230 on November 14th. It's great. Oh, nice. yeah. Unbelievable. Awesome. Oh, I mean, thanks, man. I'm pumped. a fucking killer. Here's the problem with you. Uh -huh. uh, this is Ooh. why you're so dangerous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is because you're a quiet guy. You look like you know you you know own a fucking you know brand new coffee shop in fucking Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we go and get our own coffee beans in Guatemala ourselves. <laughs> Every Thursday we fly down. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. My wife is Guat. My son is Guatemalan. <laughs> uh, but and then but you're one of the funniest. Me and you can be vicious. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't recommend fucking with me if that's what you're. <laughs> I really wouldn't crowd oh. crowd wise too. Um, you're fucking. You can go right into the crowd. You can dip into the crowd and fucking smash somebody and come right back with that sarcastic. Fu yeah. You have like almost English wit with just a shitty <laughs> American accent. <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> I've seen Phil say some shit to an audience member. And them not even realize that he just dissed them. Right? <laughs> like, and, they, and then it, it hits him like a minute later, like, wait, he just. Did he just <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time he came. So Joe Liz gave him a pep talk before he walked oh in here. Oh, my God. And uh, yeah, you got to you hit where you got to hit quick. And, you know, Bobby, sometimes a time, you know, Joe, this dumb fucking I think nervous. He was fucking with me. I think he deli I, I, it, it's so not uh, you wouldn't think that he would do something that uh, conniving. But I think he was fucking with me. He, so list, he, so Phil comes in and just starts smashing me. <laughs> but like, I, I'm like, I go, shut the f I, like I was mad, though, because I never met him yeah. on my show. And he comes in just literally out of the gate, fucking nailing me. And I go, shut the fuck. I was like, fuck you, you fuck. <laughs> Boston well, came out. Well, what what happened was we did a lot. We did the Pete Holmes podcast live at the Vancouver Festival, and it was Joe List, Mark Norman, uh, Carmen Lynch, and myself. And uh, I went at Pete like I was just kind of fucking with Pete, and Pete was really you know we were like cracking up or whatever. So that was like the week before, and I'm doing this, and List hooked it up, and List was like yeah, just it's just like Pete's, just go in. So we started. I started busting balls right away, and it uh, yeah, it, it got intense. Well, because, yeah, you don't, like, you walked in, and I was like, hey, I was like, nice guy, Bob. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. hey, welcome to the show. And you're like, yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, like, thanks, fatso. What? So your mother fucked when she was young. What? <laughs> what? It started intense. But then we, be, even though it started off like that, yeah. within, like, 25 minutes, we were I, buddies. Fucking too, yeah. As soon as I knew you were a nice guy. But it, uh, Liz fucked me. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he fucking, he does a lot. He fucks a lot of people. Mm. Uh, <laughs> not women. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to uh, who I love. I mean, I just, I don't know why I love him. And I tell people you can't help but love him. Oh, thank There's you. There's just something. It's a sex pot. It's, thank you so it, much, Lauren. <laughs> That's how I describe it. Do you think he's hot? Too. He's all right. We've moved oh, on. on. We're not doing me anymore. I <laughs> you can't. Um, you can't. You can't set a fat guy up for that. You can't be like. He's fine. watched oh, me he's down so a burger. Okay. A burger? Do you mean cock? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean a burger? You ate a burger? Yeah. Well, we went out that night. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, you can't set. You can't be like, oh, he's sex pot, and then he goes, really? I'm just trying to get him more Twitter followers. Thank you. That? Instagram at <laughs> Stavi Baby. My erotic Instagram. Go. There's You're a new naked one, actually taken by Joe List. Doing the photography. Okay, here's a problem with this. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I love Stavros. Stavros, whatever his last name is. How he is? I don't even know it. I don't, you don't care. need the last I name, but I don't care. Yeah, okay. Stavros, like exactly right. Stavros, I love him. He, he's you know the comic of the year in Baltimore, which means uh, I, I never I, say that by the whatever. way. Whatever. You beat out the other guy. He won. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the worst. It's the worst thing you could ever have. <laughs> so, I never uh, put it anywhere, but thank you for mentioning Bobby. Thank so you so he, much. So he comes in, and he, we, we start hanging, and his glasses are crooked, and he's a little fat, dumpy motherfucker. And <laughs> well, I don't know about dumpy, but, but fine. He's talking about <laughs> pussy. He's, he's talking about pussy and food, which I love. Yeah. So uh, in that order. And he, he takes me out to Korean, all 24-hour Korean barbecues. You're the best. At, nice. at Honey Pig, mm -hmm. which I would, you know, I would fantasize that would be my nickname if I owned <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> if I owned any restaurant. That's that's the porno game. If we're ever in a porno together, honey the honey pig. pigs. Yeah, I just want people to come in and be, hey, honey pig, how you all doing? <laughs> Welcome. We have a whole suckling pig today. <laughs> Glad I quit comedy and got into the pig building. Suckling pig here. 
<laughs> yeah, it was fucking delicious. Mm. We should get some Korean. We what go. Are we doing? <laughs> Hang on now. Wait, that's here on, Korean on pussy. Baltimore. This is in Baltimore. Oh, in Baltimore. So yeah. we go. We have. We, we and we've been friends ever since. He's just uh, love him to death. And he he uh, he has this inter- <laughs> this Instagram. My erotic Instagram. It's an it's it's the most disturbing. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell him this one thing. So I'm sitting there. I, tr- I put it on, and it's him. And he goes, "What? What's the uh, push-up thing? Oh, what's that? The called? lovers push-up." He goes, "Hey, what's the? T- just do it real quick. Um, Look into the camera and do it. In the ca- which which camera? Right here. That's your camera." Hey everybody, welcome to Hawaiian Fitness. Today we're gonna go over the lover's push-up. It's a, first of all, it's Hawaiian Fitness. He, he fucking ringer for a Hawaiian, right? Yeah. Like, I'm you, wearing a Hawaiian shirt. You, yeah. you and me could literally be on Hawaii Five. <laughs> fucking. So it's him on the ground, another guy palm to palm on top of him, and the guy pushes up. <laughs> And he pushes up, and then as he comes up, they kiss. Oh. <laughs> it's the silliest mm-hmm. game. There's more coming. There's more Hawaiian fitness coming uh, this November, guys. Stay tuned. It's so funny. And then there's a bunch of photos of him naked. So I take him to a gig in Richfield at the Richfield Playhouse, <laughs> which I love, by the way. It was a great gig. The two girls that run it are fucking smoking hot. Oh, so God. Hot. I fucking still think about them to this day. But the theater was, <laughs> was awesome. Like the show ago, was so. fucking. Oh, my God. That's not that show was. But... <laughs> there it is. I'm married. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. <laughs> And I'm a Catholic. Um, <laughs> now you're a Catholic. <laughs> I don't like that you just swing it. Um, you're attacking me. I want to fucking kill you. All right, you. I'm sorry. No, keep it's talking good. about how cute Please I am. Please keep attacking. Um, I'd rather have you attacked than Phil. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. I'm on stage. I come off. I look at his Instagram. He's naked on the my couch in my green room. <laughs> naked with flowers over his junk. So while I'm on stage busting my ass so these fucks yeah. can get a little money, yeah. they're in there fucking off in my green room. Yeah. Wow. I'm out there sweating for an oh, hour. He's in there naked with Joe List doing a fucking gay, yeah. a queen photo shoot. It was great. Joe definitely, I think, saw a side of my dick. Uh, I was completely nude. He breathed the same air that my dick was out in. So oh. I think that was a nice part for our friendship. Yeah. And uh, that was I'll just just secure this bomb bandana right <laughs> here. And there All right, to the left, to the left of Stavros Nyakhmakak. How kiss? Yeah, I think that's the right. <laughs> uh, to the to the right of him. To the right of Stavros. Hey, what I say, left? Yeah. Oh, left of me, right of Stavros. What are you in theater? Sorry. <laughs> 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 Is that why you quit the number one rate to do a fucking off Broadway play? <laughs> uh, uh, we got my friend, one of my good friends, producer of uh, sex drugs, uh, benders, uh, sirens. I mean, he was a writer on uh, sex drugs, wrote actually, I mean, I got to thank this guy. He actually wrote uh, a great fucking arc for my character on Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll uh, that, uh, called Beast Corps for me and Johnny Ailes. He was the one who came up with that. Uh, uh, Jack Leary, everybody. What's up, Bobby? Jack Leary. Hey. Um, uh, yeah, um, unfuck it. That was, I mean, for me, this is the funny part. We're doing the thing, we're doing the thing, and they were writing Sex, Drugs as we were going because okay. Leary wrote all those scripts by himself. So, you know, we didn't know where the show was fucking going. And then he came in with Beast Corps, and I'm reading it like, what the fuck? <laughs> we what? <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was, I was like, oh, you got to be shitting me. And then the only thing that's the only thing that I fucking hate you for, uh-huh. the only thing, and this is just because you're in your head writing, and you're not, you're thinking about how funny it could be and how funny it should be. You're not thinking about my physical well-being. <laughs> is when you wrote leather. Jumpsuit. Yeah, well, that was, <laughs> yes. That was, that was Dennis. That was my dad who put that in there. Did he? Yeah. Oh, good. Good he for had you, to have dad. A little torture in there for you. Let me tell you something. First of all, the poor ladies had to find <laughs> a leather jumpsuit. How many cows died for that jumpsuit to happen? <laughs> <laughs> they had to go to a farm and have a custom made. Yeah, like, no, give me the big was... cow over there <laughs> and that big cow. Give a lot of those... Hindus unhappy about that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a three person operation to get you in there. Oh, it was. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They I... lowered you in with a crane. <laughs> well, when we tried it on, <laughs> when we... <laughs> a cherry picker. Yeah. When when we tried it on, <laughs> it was so fucking bad. They had to cut. They had to cut open some spots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I remember there was 
was one time on sex drugs. <laughs> and then what? Would they just sew it up again? What was it? It was a sex drug. It was on sex. Yeah, uh, they just filled it with material. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I yeah. Think. What's her name? Um, the, the uh, uh, Jeriana. Jeriana on sex drugs. One of the best costume designers of all fucking time. Yeah, she's amazing. Time. She is fucking ridiculously awesome. But I remember one time, like one of the shirts didn't button in the front, so she literally just cut the back, yeah. just <laughs> sliced open the back, because I had a jacket on, so yeah. you're never gonna see the back. Yeah. So the back was just cut open, and then yeah. you could just like button right up. Just a fat guy tip. Mm -hmm. I love never that. Had a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I filed that one away. <laughs> just don't take your jacket off. But I remember when they got me in that suit. There was one. They finally three people had to get me in it. Three so girls. So it's one piece leather outfit. One piece. <laughs> Thick leather, like wow. like Dante like, Nero motorcycle <laughs> leather. Wow! So you had to like climb in the legs. I had to get the legs in. Put leg the, first. I had to put the legs in, and then I had to get my junk in, and then we had to uh, shimmy. <laughs> I had a shimmy with two girls on each side. So your dick is just out. You're completely nude. No, I had, I had, I, no, no. You got to be mine. I'm well, not I'm just wondering. It's not on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna. I would never fucking embarrass me. I would literally quit the gig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I throw away the most, the biggest opportunity in my life. I would, I'd be like, I'm out. I'll see you later. If it, if it said show your dick in the script, I'd be like. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'm going to go back to fucking Uncle Vinny's. <laughs> it, uh, it worked out, though, because you got to hang out with two hot chicks in that scene for like Which eight hours. fucking annoyed me. <laughs> oh, they <laughs> fucking bugged the fuck out of me. Well, were they actresses? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just two hot chicks. <laughs> no. Oh. They were hot. Look, at, here's the deal. They were hot chicks, but they... I don't know. They they, they were cooler as we went on, yeah. but at the beginning, yeah, they were just right. trying to... You know, you know they were Russian too, right? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. They were, you know, they had that. What do you do this for? Do I do well? Do I do, do, do put the helmet on? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but here, it was my fault though. I'm sure they were nicer than I actually. I was so fucking miserable in this thing. Was it hot? As they zipped it up, it was the hottest thing ever. But here's the fucking kicker: I had gloves on and then a helmet. So, and the helmet had a visor that cut off all ventilation to your head. <laughs> no ventilation. I was literally just a hot pocket. <laughs> uh, we would so, open the visor and steam would just pour out. I, I fucking, I'm in the room and I'm supposed to be playing the drums, right? I'm supposed to, so he, because he wrote all the music too. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, well, not all the music. For this scene, for, I wrote the For this song scene, for he wrote the music. No, the music his father and his band wrote. Uh, but for this scene, he wrote this. This this song that we're doing, we're EM uh, e -M, EDM what, EDM band, right? Yeah. Hmm. So uh, we're like Daft Punk. That's okay. basically what we're trying to do. Yeah, but we'll oh, take cool. it See, the whole thing was pretty funny. We're too old to be in that type of thing to come up with that music. So he was like, "We'll just hide our faces and we'll be do that Daft Punk shit." So we put on these helmets and these outfits, and we're behind the fucking <laughs> DJ booth, and we're playing. But yeah. I'm supposed to be playing the drums. I'm electric drumming, and I'm mixing. And you're saying your lines. There was a whole. And I'm saying my, but and I'm dancing. <laughs> so it all looks good on paper. Yeah. Then you get fatso in a suit with fucking stage lights. And I kept coming in, and I was like, I think you should drum a little harder. Yeah. Just to give you a hard time, and then well, Serpico would come in and say, "Cut the drums. We don't need the drums." I, no, we stopped the drums. I, I literally, I, I, I yelled, die. "Cut!" for the first time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you just meant cut you out of the jumpsuit. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm not. I believe you don't fucking say cut. You know, I. You know, yeah. the only people that say cut is the fucking maybe the star and the director. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, right? it's me or the director, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, uh, I get yeah, it. Uh, I stop. They yell action. I'm drumming away. I'm dancing. I'm talking. I'm doing this. All of a sudden, the lights start getting dimmer. I'm fucking losing my breath. I can't. <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm, I stop saying my lines. <sighs> if we get the audio of me breathing, oh, in there that was. Yeah, we were all listening. In. <laughs> it was. I went. I literally went. Cut. Cut. I'm gonna pass out. I can't do. This. I was literally had to sit down. I was oh, fucking wow. dying. So they cut the drumming down to just one. Yeah, one stick. One stick. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, very, and that was a. That was a. Uh, I think uh, that was a 12 hour. It was a long day. Oh, yeah, six, maybe a 16 hour day, right? It was a Friday, yeah. We went, we went late that it day. It was the longest day of my life. So, how long were you in the suit for? All day. Many? All Holy fucking day. Holy shit. Wow. And it, and it felt good. Like the first scene we did when I rolled over the table. Yeah, the cheetah It move. felt good because I could, I had like, I don't know, I felt like when I rolled over a table, 
it felt like I was compact. Yeah. <laughs> like I could, I could, like it was like a, almost like a superhero power. Like I was, you know, Captain Roller. Like I was a, like a bakery rolling pin. <laughs> that was actually one of my favorite moments is the cheetah move over the table. Oh, the cheetah move over yeah. the table? Yeah. Well, the, you know what was so good about it is that we got, me and Johnny Ailes got to, like. Yeah, it was great. They would let us, like him and, and Serpico and his dad, Dennis, they let us fuck off. They saw this, they saw. You created something. I don't know if you did. You well, I don't know. so my dad. So basically, I'm riding the nepotism train here, and I'm, I got hired as a writer on my father's show. But uh, he yeah, came but, to me and said he was coming up with an yeah. idea for you and Johnny. It was a B storyline, which yeah. is great because you guys. Can I just stop you one second. Yeah. None of us know except for Stavros what nepotism means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Phil might. He seems like he might. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? Nepotism. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. I know what nepotism What's that? is. What is it? <laughs> you know what nepotism what is, it? is. What is it? It's like when your when your family works somewhere and they hire their 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 there own we go. people. In. Yeah, nepotism. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Phil just looks. Spell smart. it. Use it in a sentence. <laughs> yeah, Phil. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Spell it, Phil. I thought. <laughs> yeah, I thought Phil was smarter yeah, than me. Nepotism, man. <laughs> what is? <laughs> <laughs> I love that Stavros just got sad because he thought Phil was one of him. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just you're not smart. Well, I'm not my. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm dyslexic, so my vocabulary yeah, isn't, me too. isn't... Are you really? Yep. Oh, really? I really am. Okay. I have a learning disability. Yeah, same, yeah. man. So, okay, so... But anyways, yeah, nepotism. I think we all know. Hey, that. Nepotism. Yeah, yeah, we all got it. <laughs> but, uh, but no, you got you and John Ailes are comedy gold, so we figured if we put you in any situation, you'll be able to you know, turn it, it into um, a funny thing. But uh, yeah. that came together, and it worked Oof. out perfectly. Did you write Did you write my favorite one, the barbecue for hand job scene? Was no, that no, you? that was uh, all bummer. Dennis. That was, yeah, it was Dennis. That was all Papa D. Yeah, I read that and I go, I, w I literally went, uh, all right. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to make television. Yeah. There's no way. I even said that to Serpa. I go, dude, this is fucking hilarious, but there's no way this is going to. I'm going to jerk a guy off for barbecue. That's not making it. The funny part about that, too, it, everybody had left. It was just all of us. I, mean, I wasn't even there. I was sick that okay, day. Okay, yeah. so Serpico, who's a motherfucker. Okay, <laughs> just he's the best at fucking getting you. He'll bust. He'll fucking get you. He's no like matter a ninja what. with his. He really is. Pranks. So I'm. It's the last scene of the day. I'm. This guy's got a dildo. I'm. I've been holding it, you know, under the thing, <laughs> pretending eating ribs. And the ribs, the prop guy. It said spicy ribs. Yeah. For some reason, he he wrote spicy ribs, which you don't. You just say ribs, right? Yeah. <laughs> he wrote spicy. He just wanted detail. So the prop guy is so good, Matt. This guy, Matt he Mente. went and got fucking spicy, spicy ribs. Yeah. So I'm sitting there for fucking two hours eating spicy. My oh, lips Jesus. are fucking numb. <laughs> that's a testament to how good he is because he went into that exact detail. Yeah, he did. He really, he goes, well, it said spicy. I was like, yeah, but it doesn't have that. that, 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 that. There's no fucking tasting on the TV. Nobody's going to, I can act spicy. Yeah. <laughs> And um, as you well know, yeah, yeah, yeah. First time you're on the show, it's yeah, very you spicy. were very spicy, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting there. All of a sudden, okay, uh, they were like uh, the, what's his name, the AD. Who was that? Uh, it was either Gilman or uh, it was Gilman. Yeah, Gilman's sitting there and he's on. He's got the little earpiece and he's like, "All right, Robert, we just need a little more sauce on your lips around." I was like, "Okay," so I put some sauce on. Okay, and he go to his head fit like they're talking to him, the producer and everybody. Okay, a little more sauce. I'm like, okay, so I put more sauce on. And they go, all right, let's go. Ready, speed. Whoa, 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 all right. We need, Bobby, I'm sorry. We need more sauce because mm -hmm. we got to get this scene. It's got to look like you ate a bunch. So I'm, I'm rubbing sauce <laughs> in my face <laughs> and on my cheeks. And then I go, okay, it's great. Okay, and the, all right, just cut. Oh, Bobby, we need, just up on your, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> Lily, my fucking face is burning. My lips are burning. I got sauce all like over. like you're just doing blackface. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just taking sauce. I'm putting it on the thing. And then I'm like, I, I'm like, God, and I'm starting to get mad, like as a human. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is all right. I get it, but let's. Can we fucking enough of the sauce? Yeah. You know. You're and an artist. I was like, come on. And yeah, let me yeah. jerk this guy off, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. a serious actor. Yeah. Let me focus on giving this guy a hand job. It, first of all, it does take a lot <laughs> to sell that. You don't need to tell him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and then they, uh, and of course, they were like, uh, all right, that's great, cut. That's a wrap. <laughs> so that was it. They didn't need any of it. So I'm just sitting there with my face is covered in hot, spicy sauce. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And everybody's laughing. I'm like, I was, it was like that moment where you like, you wanted to go, you know, you either go fuck you or you go. So I had to take that motherfucking serpent cup. But uh, so that's Jack. He introduced the whole show. Now here's the funny thing. Um, oh God. First of all. 
You, where'd you grow up, Phil? Uh, uh, Oshawa, Ontario, then Vancouver. Where'd you grow up? In the Bronx and then Long Island. Really? And where'd you, you grew up in Baltimore? Bal- Baltimore, inner city. Yeah, inner city. And you grew up in New There's York. A mix between here and Connecticut. Yeah. Here in Connecticut, I I live up. You you guys know you and oh, I, first of all, let me introduce Deepu, who fucking killed it the other night. Oh, thank you very much. On um. The live on, show. On right? the live show. God damn it. <laughs> and Lauren, who fucking hey, killed up? it too. Thank you. It's uh, Sexy Kelly. The show went well. <laughs> yeah, we upgraded. It's awesome, man. Uh, uh, Scopo's out. It's just Lauren now. <laughs> <laughs> really? What are you laughing at? <laughs> just, you know. What would you rather have, Scopo or Lauren? <laughs> oh, I can't. Scopo just helped me move a couch, so I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Scopo. Uh, Sco- I, have, I, have some, I have some stuff that needs moving next week, so <laughs> Scopo's, Scopo's still back in. on. <laughs> <laughs> Scopo's in. <laughs> People were raving about that show. Really? Yeah, the live podcast. Who yeah. was raving about it? Uh, I talked to Noam about it. Dude, it was unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, it was great. I really know how to run shit. <laughs> it was nice to see you and Dan finally get it over with. Oh, yeah. You guys smooch. You guys make out? First of all, I don't like your confidence. I thought somebody else said that. It was so smooth. Uh, I wrote that line three days ago. Uh, Yeah, me and Dan Soto kissed. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, here's what happened. Made out. drama? We didn't make out. out. There was no There was tongue? Saw tongue. No tongue. No, Uh, there was no tongue. She's lying. You didn't grab each other's cocks, Every time you lie, you have to show a nipple. (laughs) Listen. (laughs) Fair's fair. (laughs) Phil goes, yeah. (laughs) Um... No, he's, he's, I don't know what happened. Well, you guys was, were acting out a scene. We were acting out. Of, my first movie role was called Last Night at Eddie's, uh-huh. where I played Dylan. Uh, Gives a guy a handjob for eating ribs. Oops. Give me well, the there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take your mic away. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Why does his hurt so <laughs> it's just Like, his I feel in my chest. <laughs> Someone else bombs him. Just like what? <laughs> His, I actually physically feel it. <laughs> um, so Dan, we, my first movie role that I ever did was Last Night at Eddie's. They played the romantic lead. That was actually my second fat in life. When I booked the part, I was like, "You're too heavy to be a lead." I say, "How? When are you shooting?" He goes, "I'm shooting in 30 days." I go, "In 30 days, I'll come in 30 pounds lighter." I came in in 30 days. I started walking that night. I've said it before. I came 30 days later. I came in with a six pack. Fucking Whoa. shredded. Are you? How did you do it? I fucking ate ch- oranges, chicken, <laughs> broccoli, <laughs> green beans. That's what I eat, man. That's all I ate. I don't. Yeah. So, I came back and we did this movie. I played the romantic lead. I came in on my motorcycle to work at this pizza shop for the summer, <laughs> and Allison was there. The girl Allison now is actually doing really great in movies and improv and shit like that. And then, uh, you know, the, the fucking mean boyfriend that she hooked up with after I left the first time on the <laughs> motorcycle. And the last scene was, um, you know, I loved you, Allison. I always have and I always will. And then I kiss her, right? So, yeah. so I did that with Dan and I moved in for the kiss and he did not back down. <laughs> like I thought he was going to, I thought he was going to pull away. Oh, I knew he, he didn't. Wouldn't. So, <laughs> Wow, he, commits, you, he commits to the role. <laughs> that, what, have you yeah. kissed him before? Nah, I mean, I wouldn't call it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so we kissed, but then we held it, and I was like, I'm not fucking, you're not outgaying me. <laughs> this, this is alpha male So then now. they just blew each other for 45 minutes. <laughs> and, uh, that was the great show was fucking cast. awesome. This is who's the man. <laughs> I'm, I'm the, fuck you. You're not a man and me. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, so funny. You're such a heterosexual that you have to prove you're straighter by being gay. <laughs> Yeah, that was what the I was saying. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> hey, do you, do you want to write it down? And yeah, I'm just cliff wanna, notes for the yeah, dumb, you, you the dyslexic want, people listening at home. Do you shorthand and mail it out to people's <laughs> yeah. houses? That was, that was mean that, spirit. Yeah, that was a dumb. jab. Dyslexic. dyslexic. Yeah, you have to be above average intelligence to be dyslexic. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Are you guys the exceptions, or how does no, that it's work? The, yeah, <laughs> it's the opposite of being Greek. Um, <laughs> well, we're oh, done. I love when fucking guests attack guests. <laughs> I think Einstein was dyslexic. Yeah, though. Einstein was. Yeah. Are you dyslexic too? What's going on here, Jack? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Are you? Oh, holy Jack, shit! Are you dyslexic? Jack? I think so. Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm outnumbered here. We're dyslexic. Yeah. We're yeah. dyslexic. Yeah. We're how, how do you feel right. now, I smarty feel, Now pants? I feel like I'm dumb. Well, no, you're just fat. Maybe you're just <laughs> dyslexic. <laughs> Thank you. Um. So yeah, we kissed. It was a kiss, <laughs> but he didn't pull away. How long would you say you'd five minutes? On his? 
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How many seconds were your How lips many on seconds? His? A solid minute, at least. You're right. Oh, Are you serious? It was oh. not a minute. First of all, she's It was not a minute. She's dyslexic. She didn't know what time is. I got pictures. That, that has nothing to do with <laughs> dyslexic. She doesn't know. <laughs> all right, maybe I know 40 you seconds. First of all, she... No. 40? 20. That's a lifetime. 20 times. 20 yeah. seconds. 20 seconds. But that's shit. a long that's time. Like a 20 minute. seconds is long, but it's not a minute. A minute, we, a minute fucking, we should like... fucking just kiss. Yeah. 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 We should have sex. Yeah, we should yeah. fuck around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, should finger, we should finger pop each other's assholes. <laughs> 20 seconds is, that's a long. 20 seconds was, yeah. it was too long. Wow. Because yeah. the Back crowd, le- here, I, I pulled away because it was like, I was like, I got to pull away. Yeah. Even though it's my show and I shouldn't. Yeah. Should have more respect <laughs> for me than that. Uh-huh. I pulled away because you heard the crowd go, woo, ah, oh. Yeah, they must have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's oh. weird, man. Wow. I wouldn't want to do that. But kiss another guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, for 20 seconds, I wouldn't want to. I tell you, that. it wasn't that bad. No? <laughs> no, man. I have that whole thing in my act about that now where kissing guys is like, guys have soft lips too. <laughs> well, I mean, if you. If yeah, you, but they got other things. I'm not just. Yeah, but you're not kissing that. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah. but I mean, you're, you're, you're near it. Yeah, but you're not, you're not <laughs> anywhere. You're actually three and a half feet away from it. Uh, you haven't seen On mine. most people. <laughs> On Stavros, you're a foot away from it. Oh, thank you. Get it? Because his mouth, he's short. Okay. <laughs> hey, can I have that? <laughs> <laughs> Go nuts. <laughs> Why does it smell like fucking hot chicken? Uh, oh, is it? Uh, <laughs> you, you've never kissed a guy on the lips? Would you kiss a guy for a movie role? Uh... I, I mean, Cypher's not about it at all. I, <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to make out. They don't do I, that in the Bronx. I, yeah, I've kissed. I mean, some. I guess there's the guys that I've grown up with that are get drunk and are a little, little uh, friendlier than Dude, I would I'm like. I'm kidding. Yeah, Stop. That's yeah. hot. <laughs> I got, I've had friends. Yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had male some cute friends. friends that I've, we had, just, I've, I've had, had male. Guy. I've had male friends kiss me on the lips. <laughs> But not for 20 seconds. <laughs> I, love, uh, I love that we got him to open up. You know? yeah. I guess you're right. We yeah. are. You know, That's, there's that sexual tension. It was a long, Dude, I blew Louis J. Gomez cabin. one time. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, no, I have had, I have had uh, yeah. friends, but not for 20 seconds. I've had, like, dudes, like, be like, you know, kiss me. <laughs> Wait, why? Not for 20 seconds. You understand, we did it for comedy purposes. Yeah. You're doing it for shits and giggles no, no. at the fucking well, porthole ex- pub. I was exploring. Um, oh, no, nice. I've had like, uh, like I don't know if like if a dude, I don't know, goes to ki- you haven't seen him and they kiss, goes to kiss you on the cheek or whatever, and uh, I don't know. A guy kiss kiss on the cheek, I think is gayer. No. What's that? No. I think a guy, your friend coming it's European. up. European. It's European. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, not if. Oh yeah, you're from Canada. You know yeah. what? <laughs> Fine. No, I, yeah, that European <laughs> country, now, Canada. So over my life, we European. have a very, we have a European influence. It's oh. a big European, European influence. They're fucking. They have a queen, for God's sakes. Yeah. Open your fucking mind. They don't get yeah. dyslexia, man. Stop being I'm so. Sorry, yeah. You're narrow-minded, smart, and I but don't like 20 it. Twenty seconds. Uh, in my lifetime, I'm sure I've had a man kiss me on the lips for like a second. How did you? Twenty of who? Twenty men? No, not, no. <laughs> yeah. that, that is the math. That was that pretty was good. One, that, was, that was in one night when you got arrested for drunk driving. <laughs> but twenty seconds—that's a lifetime. It was a long. It was a little too long. Because you could actually, you could go away and be like, uh, "Yeah, Dan Soto's a good kisser." Like you would be, you would well, be. He, he didn't have let, he did, We didn't let each other in. Oh, like, yeah. It was he like, tucked his lips in. Was we, there lip movement though? No, we no talked, flexing. We tucked and held it. Tuck, you know, if I if I have, theater kiss. the old tuck and hold. If I ever yeah. kissed him with these lips, my pillow lips is, I w- it would have been fucked. He would have, he would have been hypnotized. <laughs> I would have fucked Dan up. If I have a, if I didn't, if I didn't tuck my lips, uh huh. If what? I went, if I let oh. them, if I did this, yeah, you didn't let it go for what one second. No. Just give him a taste. <laughs> if had, I give him a you little had bit, top lip and bottom lip touching. No, we had tux. You know in the movies was, when they they, yeah. they kiss the bottom lip, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. Oh, if I ever did that, he would have fucking fell in love with me. <laughs> he would have quit the, he would have quit the business and moved up to Westchester. <laughs> you, you both knew to talk? Yeah, we both talked. It I wouldn't weird. even have thought of talking. Yeah, we both you would have been we I both thin lipped it. it. Oh really? Thin-lipped. Yeah, okay. we both thin lipped it. There was no pucker at all. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. So I didn't so your so your the tops of your lips touched. Force yeah, against my, each other. But my, yeah. my lip and my bottom lip and my top lip and his top lip and my bottom and his bottom lip touch. How did yes. you pull away? Was there like a we just like pull, that it, final? It was just like no, <laughs> they were, just just separated. They just yeah. kissed. There was no because softly. You'd have to have you'd have times. to untuck to make lips <laughs> lips have to be out. It just pulled away. So it just pulled away. It was yeah, an awkward afterwards. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's untucked. not even a kiss, really. Yeah, it was like it was like two vaginas if you put them together and then yeah. pull them apart. However you want to justify it. Your face scissored. 
<laughs> did you? <laughs> <Hey scissored. laughs> did you? Uh, was it awkward afterwards? No. Oh, really? It wasn't. Uh, well, all right, for a second. Yeah. But in my head, I went. Hey, what am I gonna do that <laughs> <laughs> but there was a lot. There was you know fucking a hundred people there, so I didn't want to. Yeah. Uh, See, you know. I do. Um, I do improv at UCB. And you kiss guys? And, no, there are a lot of guys who kiss. <laughs> yeah, because that's not a on improv. stage. Like yeah. to make a funny scene or yeah. a funny oh, move. Yeah. Yeah. If someone tried to do that to me in an yeah, improv I, scene, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I don't get a head cold for your dumb scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you kiss a guy who was like in the summer. You say hello. You had a flu <laughs> shot. And, <laughs> no, 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 but I, I've been in improv scenes where someone just like they're, yeah. they're not that funny so they're trying to like do something and then like touch your face yeah. or something like that i'm like fuck man yeah, we're not gonna take it that's it's, not it's a, a yes reach. it's a reach so if someone if so <laughs> yeah, yeah if I you're really that. committed to improv don't invade my space for your dumb scene if somebody <laughs> if somebody in the improv class was gonna you know kiss you for the scene you yeah. wouldn't yes and them <laughs> nah. what would you do <laughs> i'd pull away yeah man oh, wow. i'd have to i don't yeah. know i'm not and it's you not break the rules. to do it i don't i would i would probably even pull away if a random girl try to kiss me, like I'm like weird about my space. What do you mean? Like if a if a girl in a in an improv scene that I didn't really know. What if she was hot? To, I mean, a girl <laughs> has a lot more leeway. Yeah. yeah, but a dude, I just can't do it. I don't no, know. No, man, it's my space. Like, yeah, do it for the bit. Even when like you give uh, someone a hug and it's if you, it's too close, it's like. I so if I, if I hug you, I can't put my face like my, my face in your neck <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> and just sniff. <laughs> you ever do that? You yeah. want to make your friend feel uncomfortable? If you ever give him a hug, just tilt your head, put it in his neck, <laughs> yeah. like in his neck pocket right there, and just kind of rest. And if Whisper, you feel, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> male, male hugs have to have those those three pats, like the hard yeah. pats. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, oh, no thanks. Yeah. Fuck that, yeah. man. No, let's really get in there, boys. We're going to start kissing <laughs> yeah. as yeah. men. <laughs> We're going to be men. We're going to yeah. stop being men. Hold me like a man. I have no problem hugging you like a friend I haven't seen in a long time. Dude, mm -hmm. you ever been, let me tell you something, dude. Let me, I'm serious. Have you ever been held... And I, I, I have heard, this in my act, so yeah, I don't I heard this routine. Okay, you heard it, but I'm serious. I, and, and this is where it, this is this <laughs> is where life meets that art. joke comes from. Have you ever been held by a man like a like a fuck? You ever been held when you needed to be held by a fucking man? It's awesome. I like a I, I like a big woman holding me, but not like a little, not like a like Phil. Phil wouldn't be good. What do you mean like, but in, like in a state of depression? I don't or understand. Something? What? Huh? <laughs> like in a state of depression, or like a like... state of depression, or a state of being scared, or something happens, or someone dies and someone grabs you and and without that slap shit and just hold like maybe a arm like side to side, the arm around. <laughs> Yeah, that's big. That's big. Well, like a right. turn into the hug. Like, a, like a Christian it turns into the hug yeah. after that. No, I know. Like a rugby <laughs> team. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like, yeah. like a Mormon at a dance. Like, <laughs> no, my, something bad happened. Another, that's everybody's Mormon like, fingering is just <laughs> over the shoulder. We all had nine jokes on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't stop me. Like a, <laughs> yeah, like a side to side. Like, yo, don't worry, man. You're going to be all right. The one arm. Over. Yeah. I can yeah. do that. It's called the reach around. Dude. Can yeah. I, <laughs> I think can that's I, something honestly, else. <laughs> let me do it. Let me tell you something. You ever get a hug? You know, being held by a man, being hugged by a dude feels better than uh, your chick. Your chick is a... Your chick is smaller, weaker. Her arms aren't <laughs> as big, and probably don't get around fully. You, you, if you know, if you get a hug, if you got a hug from Phil right now and literally hugged him, mm -hmm. you would feel. You'd be like, "Oh shit, that's that, for what a hug's supposed to feel." Yeah, I'm not saying like I'm not saying. But feels slender. No. <laughs> Honestly, I've been I've I've when I hug, I don't think that, when I. <laughs> That was the most Phil. sincere reaction. <laughs> Phil, Phil is like hugging Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> no, I, honestly, I have hugged. <laughs> ah, shut up, let him finish. <laughs> I've hugged skinny dudes before, and I'm like, I, uh, I, I don't. I, I it, it, it does feel weird. It feels like yeah. a like a bike. Like it feels like, a, <laughs> like hugging a bike. Should let you get that out, and then yeah. done the Mary Tyler Moore. Right? Yeah. Mary Tyler Moore is the perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's my body. So type. You're saying you don't truly know a hug. Until you hug a big man. Until you, you get hugged by a man. A man's a, man. Hold on. What about? I remember I got brought in. There was a, a special forces dude I met at a show once, <laughs> and he was just so. <laughs> hang on. Let me finish. Was it you. a show? <laughs> was it Craigslist? <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, you know, he just came out. He's very. He was just so uh, unbelievably gracious. You know, those guys when they see a good show, there's something about a comedy show that 
they just like fucking thank you for making me laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes they forget to laugh with the fucking crazy shit. You know, I couldn't imagine being in the military. No. The Holy fucking shit. the commitment that that takes for no money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, and you, you and it's such hard killed. work. I'm fucking going, I'm going away from my kid for two weeks and I'm, I'm fucking sad as shit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be away from my kid for two weeks and I'm sad as shit. And the only thing that makes me feel better is that, that I can kind of cope with it is that guys in the military leave for a year. Yeah. They so don't see their family for a fucking year. It's crazy. And it's not like the, I'm going to, I'm doing a Canadian tour. Which is awesome, <laughs> right? You know what I mean. These guys go to poutine. Afghanistan and eat out of a, you know, a f yeah, uh, MREs. Yeah, it's crazy. So, uh, unfucking. Anyways, I think it's just amazing that they have that ability to make a commitment like that, and it, it fucking infuriates me how you know they they should never want anything. No, in, it's, yeah, it's crazy that they, they should never have a problem in this yeah. country. In this country, they should never have a fucking problem. With anything, medical, uh, social yeah. security, retirement. Yeah, it's if totally. If you serve this fucking country and fucking sacrifice your family, yeah, for other people's families, and possibly your life, and yeah. absolutely, say now, you know, and and you know, and you have to do it in a fucking strategical way. We can't just level a fucking town like we used to back in the 40s. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, Bobby. Well, now we're straying a little bit from your... <laughs> ah, you fucking need a cigar and a hat with a boat on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just dropping bombs on a school. <laughs> oh, fuck you. So what? So good point. No, that's a good point. You're right. You're right. So so what? You're right. <laughs> Let's kill some All children. Right, even like, even like like fact, can of... we stop with this liberal fatso? <laughs> nope. There's a lot of those programs like the Wounded Warriors. Yep. Which is great, but I but. think if you come back and you and you're fine, you're still messed up. Well, yeah, yeah. like the, nobody cares about those soldiers. There like, shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. Like the wounded warrior program is nice, but the government should just take care of you. Yeah, right. if you, that's yeah, the fucking thing. Shouldn't have to be a, a fight. We shouldn't totally. have to do a comedy show at Broadway Comedy Club to raise fifteen hundred bucks for the the wounded warrior fund. Shouldn't exist. They should just be taken care of. Right. Yeah. But all of them, the all, all soldiers, not even. Of course, them. health like just have health care. It's yes. crazy that. Hey, do, and also do me a favor. Don't buy two of those planes, and you can take care of most. Yeah, of them. yeah. Right. <laughs> most of them. The yeah. blimp that just fucking went missing in Baltimore. Did you see that? Yeah. It's a military blimp that's supposed to be able to locate other aircraft, and they couldn't find it. Do with they the have same another blimp. blimp? They could find that blimp. They couldn't. That's the funny thing. That's that's how fucking much money they're wasting. Is it's most of the military's budget is just going on. Experimental shit that never gets used, and you're right. It's absolutely ridiculous that you I don't. Know. Like, I don't mind that. Go experiment. Make a fucking <laughs> hovercraft with a fucking laser beam. I don't give yeah. a fuck. Yeah, I really have. Ex uh, you know, Area 72, 51, 90s. I don't give a fuck. Have all that secret shit. First of all, it makes great fucking TV shows and yeah. reality shows. And secondly, I love when it comes into our hands fucking 20 years later. Yeah. When we're going to have a laser fucking letter opener door fucking <laughs> removal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, but, but. Take care of the guys. Take care of the fucking guys. I can't believe it's even. A, you shouldn't even have to say that. It should just be assumed. It's, it's fucking weird. I don't understand. There's so, I know there's a deficit. I know. I get all. But the fucking people that do that job, that fucking. We, look, we don't take care of our teachers. For yeah. God's sakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if anybody, it should be military and teachers. I think I could keep adding to the list. Of, but I think military, my God, those fucking people, what they go to. And I mean, have you, have you ever gone and done a tour? I haven't. You know, any of you guys? Yeah. I, I, I've, I've DJed some You've stuff. You've DJed yeah. over, in, in, yeah. over in Iraq or some? No, like uh, Korea, Japan. Yeah, right. this uh, not any Japan war areas, but still. No, well, it's still great. Yeah. No, it's I, still I, the same thing. They're still away from their families, and it's still so yeah. much hard work. Yeah. And it's, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's a little easier because they can go fucking do karaoke on Friday. <laughs> <Yeah>. Chicken knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Get jerked off. Shot through the heart. <laughs> <laughs> <in your tube. laughs> but it is a fu It's just a crazy job. Imagine wearing the same fucking outfit, uh. having a—I mean, be that disciplined. <laughs> That's you what the you same go to. Well, no, I mean, you think I because you think about—I look at all the shit I have, all the shoes, all the sneakers. I mean, what am I going to wear today? Is a fucking problem with me, even at this size. That part seems kind of nice, actually. Same outfit, no thought, you know, just throwing yeah, the khakis. No shower in between, though. That's the. 
Yeah, but it's like it's like you, you got to wake up, put that on the same place. You have minimal everything. The space you have is small, and you you're fucking out there trying to uh, you know protect and not get killed and make sure other people are safe or go kill motherfuckers and plus there's all the red tape shit and oof. Yeah. Unfucking believable, man. And, he, and like the the military, like the Air Force has more money than the Marines and the Marines and then the Army and then the Navy and the you know, it's fucking and, crazy. And the, the craziest part about everything is that when you <sighs> sign the enlistment papers, they give you all the like terms of like, you know, your deal and then at the end it's like and the military reserves the right to change this in any way yeah. they see fit. So they <laughs> have they have complete control over your life for an, yeah, yeah, any as period of time. Yeah, as yeah, long as you sign, yeah, as long as you sign. Crazy. Imagine that. I mean, you can't Never, do no. shit. I wanted to be a Marine my whole life when I was a kid. Really? I wanted to be a Marine. I, I, <laughs> I signed up and everything. And, um, and then you heard Run DMC's and first Run album. Run DMC. <laughs> Peter Piper really? Came. Raising how? <laughs> no, I, um, I signed up and I took the test and I got like a really good score. And then the Brag. guy was like, um, the guy was like, um, all right, so when you go to the Marines, you wear the clothes on your back and you bring $20 just to have lunch like that day. And then after that day, you're in the system. And they, he's like, all right, I'm picking you up at 5 a.m. And then I called him at 4 a.m. I was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> really? I did, yeah. Really? My, mom, my mom came to see me the night before. And she was just like, you know, are you sure you want to do this? Like, uh, you know, I know you always wanted to do this, but you're doing well in school and you you have this music thing going. How old were you? Uh, I had to 42. be. 42. Uh, 40, <laughs> 40, 40, I was, uh, I guess, 19. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. 19. Why did why was it why did you always want to do it? Would you have military family? I don't family know. Or? I lo- no. Nothing. Yeah. I don't know. I just love like every marine movie ever like I watched like Platoon and all those movies. Oh, Platoon style. And they did have those commercials that were like and you were fighting a dragon. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that you shit? Do, you, <laughs> do, you do look like one of those guys in those movies, too. Not like the main guy, but no, like I the didn't. fifth main guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, you make it. You, no, he dies you, and it rallies everyone else. It's like No, he no he makes it all the way through, almost to the almost end. Almost to the end. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's not the first dude to die, <laughs> right. but he's like the last. And then he goes, we got to do this for Sarge. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> 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 so what? What did the dude say? You f- oh, he fucking screamed at me. Really? See, I, yeah. I, I, what I wouldn't it? want people yelling at me. And when, oh, he yeah. said, <laughs> when he said, "I'll pick you up at 5 I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah I'm out." Bro. How about can we do like ten thirty or yeah. can we do like no, noon? Yeah, I, I thought you had heart. I thought you were real. I thought you were really about this. And I was like, well, if, uh, like I felt a little bad, but now that you're yelling at me, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm no, just gonna man. hang up the phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he could if he if he went the other way, was like, look, man, we really need you. You really would he have know, got? Would, maybe, could, really? definitely, definitely yelling at me didn't help because, which is weird because that's all they do. And did yeah, you know right? that there's a lot of yelling involved. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of yelling. I just wanted to be like this. Like I wanted to be like a crazy soldier. Like I thought I'd be military for life. Like really, like uh-huh. jacked and like working hard at having a career in it. Yeah. And um, and I left. I left home at 17 because I just can't stand like attitude. Like my stepfather, and my sister were giving me like. And I, just, uh, I left home, <laughs> you and then the guy the was giving military. me an attitude, and I was just like, oh, forget it then. If you're going to yeah. talk to me, like, <laughs> yeah. give me an attitude. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I wanted, like, a nice, discipline. chill I could deal with, I could deal with discipline, uh-huh. but not, like, a like a snarky attitude. Like, yeah. <laughs> So if he's a passive-aggressive cunt, <laughs> like, fine. You don't want to wake up early? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had heart. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you if you would have convinced me, I yeah. probably would have went. You would have went. But he was just like, "Oh, you! I thought you had attitude. I mean, I thought you had heart. You're not real." And I was like, "Did you ever see him again? Mm-hmm. You have to walk by that recruiting office. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Where was it? In Long Island. So you like we, Hempstead, Long Island. So you had to go way the fuck out there. And did you sign anything, or were you signing um, it the next day? No, you. They when you when they pick you up, you sign everything. Wow. Yeah. So you were hours away. You were out one hour away one hour, from yeah. changing your whole fucking life. Yeah. Wow, man. Right. Oh, and then like I'm like, I think it's in a movie. Like I was like when they recruited me, I was like, oh, I, I'm you know I'm DJing. I'm I'm kind of getting good at it, getting popular. And they're like. Well, we have music in the Marines. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but in the, isn't it the you movie? You play the tuba in the band. What's the What's the guy who made Fahrenheit? Michael Michael, 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 Michael Moore, yeah. he has a movie where they're recruiting kids and they're like we have music Shaggy was a marine <laughs> <laughs> Shaggy <laughs> I thought it wasn't him Lieutenant Shaggy <laughs> <laughs> Shaggy joke 
That's good. <laughs> 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 no. No. What? No, that's a good joke. Yeah. That's Thanks. a solid joke. What music oh, do they have? Huh? What music do they have in the fucking Yeah, they range? were like, we have like band. <laughs> <laughs> swing swing <laughs> music? <laughs> uh, uh, Is it marching? Do they have marching music? Oh, Probably. I, I guess some kind of. You've ceremonial been, band or something. Yeah, yeah, there's no stuff. DJing though. You've been in the Marines. Yo, 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 check it out. <laughs> Coming up, the fucking Taliban, <laughs> motherfucker. I couldn't handle when I was a kid. I was in Beavers. Do they have Beavers here? Is that a I'm Canadian sorry, what? thing? What? <laughs> Beavers, like we, before uh, Cub Scouts, you were fucking Beavers, that young, right? Mm. Before Cub Scouts, were you learning? Yeah, kiss before c- before Cub Scouts, do you guys have Beavers? No, Cub Scouts is this. Oh, okay. no, beavers to us is pussy. Yeah. Oh, right. That's right when you're 15. <laughs> Just fucking suck on that first beaver. Um, so I was in. No, so I was in beavers, and then you go to Cubs. And I went to like the one, first day, and the dude was like yelling at us. Like Beavers was just like fun, right? And then right. the first day, and the dude was yelling at us, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna nah, do that. I can't, yeah, I, got, I can't be yelled at." I got one sh- one yellow stripe on my white belt in karate. That's what we call pussy in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, have you? Were you ever anything? Nothing. No. I was in. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Yeah. I was in the Sea Cadets. <laughs> 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 Did you have a little Donald Duck uniform with shorts? Yes, in it? I did. I had the. Oh, called, I bet you looked adorable. The, first of all, it was a cracker jack uniform. <laughs> uh-huh. Scientology? No, it was the. It's, <laughs> the sea cadets are like. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> what did they do? Sea cadets. It's like um, before. Uh, it's like little kid navy, but like a coast guard. Oh, okay. little kid coast guard. Yeah. So was you, it was in Boston. Oh, Boston. And we'd go over to Charlestown, and see, so I was getting into trouble really bad. Yeah. Hanging out with the wrong kids. Uh-huh. <laughs> so the kid up the street, who was a few years older than me, had the same troubles or something before. And he got his father put him in the Sea Cadets, <laughs> where you go. <laughs> that you is go, the gayest name for you get any the, club. Uh, <laughs> you get the dress whites. Yeah. With the, uh, you Ugh. know. The little tie. Navy is the worst uniform. <laughs> and the little hat. Yeah, the, you know, the, uh, the hat. Two, yeah. Uh, the Cracker Jack uniform. And then you get the dress blues and you get a, you know, and you go in and you uh, learn about uh, guns and ships. And, you know, you have to learn how to do a military, uh, you know, uh, about Salute. face, uh, did left. You, did you like it? Well, when I did it, I liked it at first, but then what turned me off one day, the kid up the street was really into it. He called me up. All right, let's go. We're going to work on your – we had to do this. I had this big thing coming up where the whole squad of me and the people – and there was older kids in it too. Yeah. So it was a little weird. Like me having kids my age. How old but were you? Were, I was – I had to be 13. Okay. And there was older guys in it, and they were just fucking dweebs. Yeah. They were just fucking idiots. Like they were there voluntarily. Yeah, they were like there. They there. Yeah, like I was there because I had to. My mother was forced to yeah. <laughs> They were there because this is the secrets. Yeah. And then uh, – Because <laughs> they were dating. We were having a big ceremony where we had to do a uh, – you know, a whole marching thing where you march and you turn left and you turn right and about face, about, and then you you have a gun, a, me, a wooden gun, and you do the military salute and you f- spin it and you. F- so I had to learn this. Yeah. And he took me to a park where all like fr- my kids I knew hung out. When I was coming up, you <laughs> you, you hung out at parks. Yeah. You, your gang was Tufts Park or Playstead Park or Car Park, whatever. But I knew these kids, and I'm sitting there with a broomstick in the middle of the afternoon. He had a broom, and we're walking. One, two, three, four, left, left. Just and I was you like, and him. Me and him. And he's going, left, left, uh, right, left. I'd be and so I, humiliated. Dude, I was fucking bullshit. I almost hit him in the back of the head with my stick. Yeah. <laughs> like I was, at one point, I was just going to crack him just to make the kids laugh. Yeah. Just, be like, hey, just hi. And it, Guys, I was kidding. But we actually went and did this thing, and um, you have to stand at attention for like fucking a half hour, which you can pass out. Yeah. If you don't bend your knees, if you stand up straight for too long, you'll pass out. Something about your blood. Is that just you? That's or? true. No, that's anybody. Yeah. You have to bend your knees when you stand. You have to keep a little bend in them. Um, so you're sitting Ooh. there for so long. We ended up winning. We won this competition. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then that night I then celebrated. Then it's Pussyville, right? <laughs> yeah. I celebrated all my all my punk friends were in South Medford uh, partying. So I just met him in my uniform, my Cracker Jack <laughs> uniform. <A> little, <laughs> Did they <laughs> immediately beat the shit out of you? No, or? they were laughing because I was fucking just getting smoking pot, getting shit faced. I remember we uh, the, we ordered pizza, and the the guy came up. It wasn't our house. We ordered pizza, 
we would order pizza to somebody's house, and we'd we'd come around the back, and be like, "Yo, dude, <laughs> but we, <laughs> well, I just gotta go grab the." And I'm gonna pee, I'm gonna crack her. She, how do you not trust me? Yeah. Well, like, you know what I mean. So I grab the pizza, but right back, I go around the week back, and I just run through the yard. But he caught Wayne halfway up the driveway. I heard his footsteps. He was like, "Fuck this!" I stopped chasing. <laughs> so I was running, and I remember one of the pizzas dropped. <laughs> so I had one pizza, but like under my arm, so it just folded onto itself. And I'm like, I got away. I went over a bush. It's fucking scary, man. And the only so crime order, spree ever in that uniform. You'd order pizza to a different house, yes. to the wrong house, and then you'd walk out from the backyard? Yeah, we'd just be in the backyard. We'd go uh, to a payphone, order a pizza, uh-huh. or go to somebody's house and order the pizza. Yeah. And be like, yeah, it's this, you know, blah, 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 Suckamore Street. Yeah. And we'd fucking we'd just watch come. watch him pull up. Yeah, watch him pull up. We'd come out. He'd be, go up to the front. And before he could get the door, but he'd just come out. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? <laughs> yeah, just let me, I gotta get my mom. She's in the back. We're in the back apartment. Yeah. Okay, also, she's cool. also in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> See, cadets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great, that's a great scam. <laughs> yeah. I, I fucking, we used to do all kinds of fucked up shit, man. I remember that. I remember the, the hardest thing we ever did as kids is waiting in front of the liquor store. Oh, God, that Fishing. was the worst. I can't believe adults would do that. What do you call it? Do that. Fishing. We call, yeah, waiting for, waiting for, um, yeah, waiting for it. What does he want? When I moved to Long Island, <sighs> I... fucking Lewis, Lewis Gomez wants in on the fucking podcast. <laughs> Hang on, let me fucking what? Uh, what are you... You're just gonna cave to his demands? Yeah, why not? <laughs> 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 All right, let's see. You know he's got a shitty phone. It's not gonna work. <laughs> of course, some fucking phone he got in fucking 197th Street <laughs> for eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fa- he fucking can't. Fuck him. Turn on this off. Sorry about that, guys. What were you saying? You, I don't. We used no, to. No, I moved wait. to Long Island, like tenth grade. Yeah, and they'd be like, "Oh, we're gonna go Seven Eleven get some beer." Yeah, I was like, "I don't drink, but I'll go to Seven Eleven." And then they would just stand outside, like, "Dude, you buy us beer." Dude, you buy. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. The yeah, fuck? Who is yeah. doing that? Who's giving children beer? In, a lot of people. Yeah. Yo, yeah. it's yeah. crazy. How in Canada that you don't they don't sell beer uh, in like li- like there's a liquor store that just right. sells liquor and then there's a beer store that right, just yeah, sells yeah. beer. Oh, wow. So it's not like Seven Eleven. Like if there's Can children, you say how fucking dumb that is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, that, those are the things why other countries, why especially America. We fucking you bug us. Yeah. Oh That's yeah. Why I love Canada, uh-huh. but those little things, little things make yeah. me want to fucking kick your country. <laughs> yeah. Well, we yeah, have they beer. Also get, they also get like health care. So, but if you're a kid and you're healthcare. hanging out in front of, yeah, we do. I'm saying Canada's good. Yes. Yeah, we do have health care. I think <laughs> yeah, right on, man. we have health care. You fuck. It's way too expensive for you. Get a job. It motivates you. <laughs> All right. What do you tea want party, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like tea. I like coffee. Good. I'm sorry. Can you imagine though to to buy? So it, at, in Canada, if there's kids, 13 year olds standing in front of the beer store, there's no other reason. Right. Like a Seven Eleven, you can be like, oh, we're just right. hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no <laughs> reason. Unless they fucking give a head for money. Uh, that happens. Yeah. Well, I got two stories. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but it's, it's so ridiculous. Can you? I, I, would you? Who? What, what adult would buy beer for a child? Yeah. It's crazy. Well, if you're a fucking alky and you're you know partying and you like to fuck kids, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. Well, you can make a couple bucks. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, here's I, the thing. You, <laughs> It, I, we used to, in Medford, we used to stand out there in front of the liquor store because we have everything in one store because yeah. we're not fucking dumb. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> or, or a civilized, but yeah, there's a couple of things. Touche. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how, uh, I don't even get why beer and alcohol would be in it. If you, if you, yeah. if you want to get drunk, go to the, get the beer store, but if you want to really fuck up your life, go to this store. What <laughs> accent is that? That's my Canadian uh, Moose Jaw Canada accent. Yeah. Yeah. You've you never been there, that. so you don't know. You okay. nailed okay. that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's where they laugh. Ooh, Where dude, leprechauns dude. settled in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sha 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 sha. Maple syrup. Tall leprechaun. <laughs> Don't make me laugh too much because then I lean back and Deepu gets my fat neck on the camera. <laughs> I like to stay up front. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember that. We'd sit there and go, dude, can you buy us? They look at no, no. But then that one guy would stop. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'll tell you to do. Hey, hey. And they'd be like, what? They'd be like, dude, just get us a, dude, get us a rack. We'll give you money. And if you gave, If you gave them an extra fin of. Extra five bucks, 
they get it, but you always run the risk them just of taking. them just taking the money. Yeah. Because right? yeah. they come up and be like, nah, I ain't getting shit, you fucking punks. We had that. Yeah. And then that's when we'd fucking, like, if there was five of us, you'd catch in a beating from five kids. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Dude. How, you're what? 13? 13, 14. 13. <laughs> Dude, no way, there's man. nothing worse than fucking realizing you fucked up with the little, with a bunch of little. Look, <laughs> I, can you, as a man, what would you, I'd rather be attacked by zombies than 13 year olds. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Beaten by a bunch of 13 year olds? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. I remember we were, out, we, we were out front and the guy tried to teach us a lesson. We gave him, we spent all day getting this money, like yeah. stealing shit, and, like bikes, <laughs> and, yeah. like, fucking lawn furniture. Uh-huh. We would just go into people's lawns at night yeah. and take their backyards and take like the, like a statue of Madonna. Yeah. And we go. And there, was, there was a strip of stores. I didn't know you were such an entrepreneur. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. There was a strip of stores. The bakery. There was two bakeries, two de- uh, you know uh, sub shops. There was an insurance place and a pharmacy. Uh, and a jeweler on one block in South Medford where I was. And I would just go into each store. Dude, you need a Madonna? <laughs> oh, you need a power drill? You know, I'm getting yeah. rid of some stuff. Uh. <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe it. Dude, I'd sell a rake. I sold a rake once for five bucks. <laughs> You know what I mean? A really good rake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, a kid, if a kid comes in with something, you're like, oh, yeah, I, I kind of need that. Yeah. Yeah. I fu- yeah. Dremel. Fucking Dremel. Which yeah. comes full circle. I finally got my own Dremel. And I, That's uh, a word a I do not know. Dremel. Yeah. It's a Dremel, Dremel tool. Me. I oh. stole one once. What is the Thanks Dremel? Thanks for defining it. It's basically a little handheld tool that you can put different okay, heads on. Tool. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, Dremel. Um, well, you can put like oh, a, dildo. Um, a, uh, yeah, vibrate is what you're describing. Uh-huh. Kind of like nepotism. I love that Lauren finally said something. And she just passed on. I'm tired. <laughs> I waited too long. Uh, so no, it's you. You can put little heads. You can uh, put a, a saw blade on it. A, a saw blade to cut through metal. Oh god. You can put a, a, a sander blade on it. You Got can it. put a, a grinder on it. It just it's a. Sounds big, like you're trying to sell one now. Huh. He's doing a good job. Um, <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, it's not me. It's them. Nobody okay. left. <laughs> I, I, okay. Listen, here's the deal. Um, yeah, but I, I remember. Yeah, this dude, this guy, right. this guy actually said, he came back. I remember when he goes, yeah, yeah, sure, give me the money. And we were like, yeah, get us a rack of tall and a thing of Mad Dog 2020 or some shit like nice, that. Nice, classy. And uh, he goes, uh, he comes out and he's walking. He didn't even know. I was just like, yo, yo, yo. He's like, yeah, fucking, you learned a lesson, all right? <laughs> Something like, like trying, like with that Boston act. Yeah. yeah. You learned the lesson. What, what lesson? Like yeah, like he's you like you learned the lesson, all right? Yeah. You don't you don't need to drink. You're too young or something like that. <laughs> we went fucking. We, were, I think one. I think my friend Frankie went kid, like he called him a kid. <laughs> he went kid. Give us that fucking money. You owe us that. Give us the beer or the money. You fuck. And he was like, fuck you, what are you going to do? And we fucking attacked him like leprechauns. <laughs> we, gra- we grabbed him and fucking started kicking him, got him to the ground, started fucking stepping on his head. And he finally, wow. we took all his shit. <laughs> we took his beer too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't take, we didn't rob him like his wallet, but we were like, fuck you. Did you tell him you taught him a lesson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, on that I note, I should have had you punching up my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, we're going to come back with around another half hour, 40 minutes of the You Know What Dude podcast. Everybody in the chat room, stay tuned. We're getting to you right after the break. So get your questions ready for Deepu. He's going to be searching them. We're going to let people take a piss, turn the AC back on. It's a little hot in here. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Bye. All right, check it out. Um, Just, uh, hey, guys, keep it down. I got to do a read. Um, Jack, can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Are you getting enough? Uh, I don't think so. Lauren, are you getting enough? Always. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I bet you want more, right? Oh, yeah. I bet everybody listening wants more. Okay, well, check it out. Here's the deal. Go to adamandeve.com right now because they want to give you more. And uh, you may feel weird about using devices and toys and little gadgets and gizmos, but you shouldn't. Okay? It saves you time and effort. Okay? You're trying to use your finger like a caveman <laughs> or your pekka. Don't. AdamandEve.com right now. They want to give you a lot. They want to give you 10 free gifts. It's incredible. 10. First, you get a sexy surprise for her. Second, a specially selected toy for him. And third, a little something we know you both will enjoy. That's cool. Plus, you get six full-length 
adult movies. And you might say, well, it's uh, 2015, almost 16. What do I need a DVD for? What do I need a fo- what, Why? Because you watch the whole movie. You, know, you go to these sites, you get 10 seconds, and right when they get to the fun part, it cuts out, and then they, you know, you got to go find something else. Get the movie. The whole thing. All right? And the number 10 is this, free shipping on the entire order. So what do you have to do? All you have to do is get 10 f- to get these 10 free gifts. This is what you have to do. Listen, go to Adam, adamandeve.com right now. Select one item. That's it. Anything. Anything. It could be a toy. It could be some lingerie. Whatever you want. And that's it. Then you just enter dude, D-U-D-E, at checkout. And you'll get 10 free gifts right now. Free shipping. Go to adamandeve.com today. Select any one item. Get 10 free gifts, including free shipping when you enter the code word DUDE. That's DUDE at adamandeve.com. All right. I got you guys watching live and listening. Um, you guys, thanks for supporting all the sponsors, okay? So check these things out. Go to Men Out of Buy one gift for 10 bucks. You get 10 free. It's a great deal. Okay, and use the code word DUDE. That's how you support us. All right, here, here's the deal. As we gear up and fall back again, we gain the, what we get, an hour of sleep now, right? We lose an hour. Fall. No, we gain it. No, fall gain back. You we gain, gain it. it. Yes. Oh, you really are from Jersey, fall. aren't you? <laughs> we lose it, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> don't call her fucking dumb. <laughs> you attack her. You're dumb, Lauren, you fucking I'm dumb bitch. <laughs> She's not done. She's very smart. Oh, come, what do you do? You just leave me out the I dry here? I set you up. I did. <laughs> I did. I, I want to be the only fucking nice not fat guy in the room. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got to warn you. Your old lumpy mattress is not doing you any favors. It's not letting you get the best night's sleep. And I want every hour of sleep I can get. I want it all to be amazing. I love sleep. I find anytime I do anything, if I don't get enough sleep, I suck at it. Sleep is very important. All right? So this is what you need to do. You can upgrade to a Casper mattress like I did. It's one aw- it's, it's an award-winning mattress. Okay? That's engineered for supportive com- comfort and guarantees to give you a great night's sleep. It's a guarantee. Consumer Reports, Bloomberg, The Wall Street Journal, they're all raving about it. And it ships for free in this little tiny small box. I got a King mattress... In this little box showed up. Then you undo it and it pops out. It's pretty wild uh, the way they pack this. Right in your home. And you can get a... This is crazy. They send it to your home for 100 nights risk-free. Order the mattress. Buy it. They send it to your house in this little box. You don't have to worry about you know, going to pick it up or having them ship it out. They will just deliver it. You don't have to take your old mattress out. They, they will ship it. Free, a hundred nights. If you don't like it, turn it in. Seriously, okay. Just lean your old mattress up against the wall, a couple nights. Take them up on it. You're gonna try this mattress like I did. If you don't get the best night's sleep you ever had, they'll come. They'll pick it up, refund everything, make every hour of sleep amazing. Get a Casper mattress. Put Casper to the test for a hundred nights in your own home. This is it with free shipping and return. They pick it up for nothing, too. Go to CasperMattress.com. Use code word DUDE for $50 towards your purchase of your mattress. Okay, You get 50 bucks off. And I'm telling you, these mattresses not expensive. I know a guy who spent five grand on a mattress. Ridiculous. You get a king, king mattress for under $1,000 on Casper Mattress. CasperMattress.com. DUDE for $50 towards the purchase of your mattress. CasperMattress.com. Right now, terms and conditions apply. Hey, check it out, everybody, real quick. Right now, your season-long fantasy football team may be going strong, but you know, I know who, uh, I I know a couple guys who do fantasy sports, and uh, you don't have to wait till week sixteen to get paid anymore, which is fantastic. Put your fantasy skills to the test every week this season at DraftKings. I know a lot of you guys out there do fantasy sports, so do this: go to DraftKings.com. America's favorite one-week fantasy football site. With one-week fantasy, you know what that means? No season-long commitment. You got an injured player, no problem. It's like a new season every week. So you never get stuck with the same player. And get this, DraftKings is crowning a new millionaire every week this season. That means you could turn your love of football and sitting on your ass 
and eating pizza nuggets <laughs> into a payday of a lifetime. Just pick your players, pile up the points, pick up your cash, and tell your wife to beat it because you got an extra five bills in your pocket for being an ass watching sports. How great is that? She'd love you. You get a million bucks. Oh, my God. Believe me, you'll never, you've never experienced football like this before. Never. This isn't fantasy as usual. This is DraftKings, the number one big boy on the block. So welcome to the big times. Hurry to DraftKings.com now. Use promo code Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, and play for free in your first deposit. Okay? And this Sunday's $1 million fantasy football. They have $1 million on the line, and you get to enter for free. Okay, in the fantasy football contest, where first place takes home, oh my God, you, first place takes home 100 grand. They have a million dollars in the pot, first place takes home 100 grand. This is what's good about that. It's not one guy walking home with a million. Everybody wins a lot of money. You have an opportunity to win cash. Okay, enter Kelly for free entry now. Only at DraftKings.com. That's DraftKings.com. Everybody that came to the live show, I fucking love you guys. Thank you for supporting it. You sold it out. Sold out show. First time at the Village Underground Lounge, and we knocked it out of the park. It was an epic night, epic show. You guys are the best fans in the world. So, love you. Um, let's go back into the show. We're back in. Right. Is the sound gone? Uh, yeah. People in the chat are saying there is no buzz anymore. So, sorry about that. People yeah. watching live. We have some chat. We do have some chat, though. So. We do have some chat. So, listen, let's go to the chat. I don't want to hear about the fucking buzz. We <laughs> fixed the buzz. It's our fault. Yeah. Well, it's Deepu's fault because he's video guy. I, I'm, I come in. I just, I, I'm, I'm talent. Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take the hit on this one. What a dick. Um, but talent figured out what was wrong. Classic. <laughs> talent unplugged things slowly until noise went away. Which fucking that's you should have done. Fix, yeah. That's Which, how you fix buzz. Yeah. We, we were I on mean, your side until that comment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. You couldn't have done that? You're right. You're very talented. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that he made it talent. Oh, fuck off. All right. What do we got in the chat? We got a chat room going on. Let's go to this. is called, first of all, there's, there's Deepu chat, which he handpicks what he thinks. And then we go to the Bobby chat, which is just the chat, what's being said immediately. What do we got in Deepu chat? Johnny Arango says, a hug from Dante Nero. Now that's a man hug. I, I agree with you, fucking, what's his name? <laughs> Johnny Arango. Arango, what a great name. Ooh, is, that, is that his last name, Johnny Arango? Might be. Wow, that's great. Um, I agree. You ever get hugged by Dante? I can't say I have. It's like you sure being hugged choked? by me. <laughs> huh? Sure it's not choked by Dante? Uh, give me that. It's right over me. here. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting a lot of comedy advice from Dante Nero, actually. Uh, yeah, his career is going well. <laughs> I treat comedy. <laughs> <laughs> is it acting advice? <laughs> I treat comedy like my bitch now. No, I love Dante. Is there a second bandana we can wrap <laughs> around? <laughs> <down there? laughs> I, I think I just have to twirl band. it now. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I I agree. Dante gives great hugs. What else you got in the chat? <laughs> Uh, Jules Frederick says, I'm going to assume Bobby's only been to Ontario where the beer store is, pri is a privately owned shithole. No, I haven't, and I, I haven't drank since I was 15. Please direct all these things towards uh, Phil Hanley. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I lived, I'm from Ontario, but I live in BC, and I've, yeah, I've been everywhere. W what's, what's that person's BC? problem? What's going on, man? <laughs> I'm not talking to Deepu Chad. It's not Bob Chad. Oh, uh, okay. I don't have a follow-up, so. Oh, really? What else you got, Deepu? Yeah, right. Come on, Deepu. Oh, that was great. We, yeah. should have a, we should have a stinky chat bandana. Yeah, <laughs> really. What else you got? Uh, Black Gospo says, I wonder how much Bobby and the rest of the crew know about hip-hop history. Maybe Sife could test him. I think that's a great. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Fun. Yeah. I know a lot. You so do I. Yeah. Dude, I know where hip-hop was. I know surprisingly. Hip-hop was, was invented by DJ Max Light. I thought it was DJ Herc. Yeah, who the fuck is Max Light? <laughs> 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 I thought it was sounding good. <laughs> <laughs> Max Light. <laughs> Phil got it. Yeah, it is. I actually just saw a documentary on that, on him. Is he, he owns a record store up there now, right? Cool Herc? Yeah, doesn't he? I don't know. What, what, what are the, there's like three guys, right? Uh, four or four. Four, There's right? a, a lot. All right, who, cool who? Herc. Cool Herc. Cool Herc. I would say... Beginnings. DJ, DJ Light. DJ Light. No, no, no. Cool, cool Herc. Herc. <laughs> Africa Bambada. Grandmaster Grand Flash. Flash. Africa Bambada owns a record store, right? 
He owns a record uh, store. I'm not sure. He's very much into music. He probably does. Pro- I, I think know. he does. Yeah. And um, the guy who invented the scratch was Grand Wizard Theodore. Right. What a yeah. name. Grand yeah. Wizard. Yep. Clan member. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. He's the only yeah, black did he, <laughs> clan member. Yeah. Did, he, did, he, did, he, did he, like, did he go, oh, shit. Did one of his friends go, dude, what'd you, what'd I you don't call know. yourself? What is with the white hood? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they knew Grand Wizard meant that back then. It did. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't it know if they knew back that. then more. Oh, no, they knew. Yeah, they, they, they knew. knew. Well, they knew. That was like at its end of its height. It's at its height. Yeah, that's where Bobby and I met. <laughs> 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 I couldn't get into a hood. No, I couldn't. I'm circumcised. <laughs> I'd have to have two clan outfits, <laughs> fat Bobby and then thin one. A white <laughs> leather jumpsuit. A white leather clan jumpsuit. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, oh, well I, you know what? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't even want it over. That, that was so bad. I don't want him touching it. <laughs> well, that, that wasn't <laughs> worse than anyway. All right. <laughs> you look just like my kid if I have one. Thank you. Not like it really if, does. I, if I fuck somebody like ugly. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> I, I, you keep you keep making disparaging remarks about my appearance, and but I think that's off. Why? And you have a kid. <laughs> Max is cuter than me. Hang, I will admit. Hang on a second. Don't ever be logical on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Spock. <laughs> <laughs> he really is my Spock. Well, yeah. um, Captain. So, <laughs> test me. Ask me a question. Oh, jeez. I don't. Where do you? Where? What era? What? Uh, be- the second era. <laughs> Second era. Right. Who's, the, who's the top five of the golden era, which is 86? Run DMC. No. <laughs> uh, DJ Twist, Twist, the <laughs> Twist the Mic. Twist the Mic. Twist the Mic. I got uh, M- <laughs> uh, uh, MLB Reese's. <laughs> Are you just looking at stuff in the room? I, I got Loverboy Lights. <laughs> <laughs> Loverboy Lights. And then I got DJ Remix a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, no, uh, what, what what era? Give me an era. The era is like eighty six is when it salt, changed. Eighty six to ninety. Right. Salt and pepper. They're from Will, there. Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> we got Will, Will Smith. Yeah. Madonna. Right. Aerosmith. Okay. <laughs> no, but Aerosmith was Aerosmith no. did change it. No, but you're saying thing. Everything you're saying relates to hip hop in a way. Of Why that is that? Because you said uh, Will Smith, who's yeah. the Fresh Prince, right. obviously broke yeah. through. Uh, Madonna fucked Big Daddy Kane, which right. is like a famous hip hop story. She nice. did, yeah. Wow. She fucked Big Daddy Kane. Well, I think Big Daddy Kane did he have the, her. Did he have those? Gla- <laughs> did he have those glasses on when he fucked her? He probably did. Yeah. And MCA I, didn't because when the Beasties opened for Madonna. Can I just say something? Big Daddy Kane had the same glasses John Travolta and Olivia and John had. Uh, John had on a twist of fate. <laughs> yeah, those a, are some serious. Fuck days. you! <laughs> that's a good reference. Yeah, it is. Give me that bandana, you motherfucker. That's because you're 10. <laughs> they don't 26. know the reference, that's all. You know well, yeah, I got that it. Twist of Fate? All right, got it. Yeah, Run D- uh, Aerosmith did the song with Run DMC. That really actually made hip-hop, uh, it brought it over to all the white kids. Yeah. When Run DMC did that video, it was like, yeah. oh, shit, we can watch this too. Yeah. It was actually <laughs> fun. It was fun because you think of Run DMC, you think of Public Enemy, you think of uh, militant, uh, you know, uh, urban and you're like oh <laughs> shit all of a sudden you yeah, see yeah. them having a good time you're like oh they had, they <laughs> seriously yeah, like Run DMC was they have fun about, too yeah, it was fun music it was fun music man and that's when everybody was like oh shit let's and then that's when they popped off right they became yeah. huge after that yeah 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 the walk this way walk this yeah, way huge after that that was the, was that, that was the a, first time uh, the rock s- and and uh, rap mixed I, I'm not sure probably I oh, mean the first definitely who's definitely testing who yeah Who's testing who? What no, because Beastie Boys was before. Before that, yeah. What no, it wasn't the Beasties that wasn't after. before that. That uh, uh, Raising Hell came out first before License to L. Right. Oh, well, Beastie Boys was doing it live. It just it wasn't recorded. Yeah. Apparently, the two white boys are schooling. Don't the lump yourself in with Phil. You're schooling. The, uh, only, Phil has you're, actual knowledge. I don't even know what you are. <laughs> only know white connections of hip hop. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I don't even know what you yeah, are. You what are you said Puerto Aerosmith. Rican? What? Yeah, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Okay. Yeah, same. Yeah, but um. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm just. I'm more Puerto Rican for jokes. <laughs> just American, just a Bronx born well, American. You don't think you don't you don't uh, represent Puerto? You don't what? Yeah, Associate, oh, identify. Just an American. Yeah, I cool. I'm with that. I'll take that. I'm not Mexican though. We, we, <laughs> yeah. He uh he. What are you again? I'm Greek. No. What'd you call yourself? A Mediterranean. Oh, I'm Mediterranean American. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> every time I hear it, I want to hit him with a mic. <laughs> <laughs> Do I'm people say that? Did you make that up? Mediterranean American. I'm a Mediterranean American. It sounds like just a type of cuisine. 
Yeah, it's it's that too. Yeah, come over to story, guys. We'll have gyros. Is there afterwards. a lot of Greeks in Baltimore? Yeah, it's tough. Full. I grew up in Greek town in Baltimore. Oh, Greek town. That's right. Of, that makes sense. A lot of Greeks in Greek town. I knew that. No, it's, it's <laughs> completely uh, just a coincidence. <laughs> hey, give him the Mediterranean bandana. Uh, You'll well, take it, thank yeah. you, Debu, yeah. for bailing me wow. out. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What else we got? The, what else we got? In the chat room. Uh, Black Gospel says, name nine members of the Wu Tang Clan. Uh, me? Yeah. You yeah. got. Didn't we're say gonna start who? off. Uh, first of all, you got. You got oh, fucking. I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead, Bobby. No, come on, really? Nate, no, seriously. You know. You, know. you got yeah. fucking. You got uh, two two. <laughs> come on, dude. You can do Wu Tang. You can do a few. You got two two. You got fucking uh, nope. Wizard. Wow, wizard you could do a few Wu Tang. You know a few. I do. You know the oh. top three. All right, I know. He doesn't. Um, <laughs> I bet you know Method more than you Method Man. Method Man. There we there go. go. Uh-huh. Um, who's the dude who went away? Got arrested. Went to jail. <laughs> That's who's the every guy, rapper. Who's the guy? Who, who's, the guy who, who's the guy who? Uh, no, but who's the guy who just made the movies? Um, he was uh, the the fucking great. It was actually a really good fucking kung fu movie. RZA. Oh, RZA. Don't, RZA. don't bail him out. RZA. Jail, Let him. Didn't he go to jail? No, no. 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 RZA. He's being racist again. Yeah, right. Method Man. <laughs> yeah. And then. Uh, um, One rhymes with RZA. Myst- Mystic Mike. <laughs> you you don't know Mystic, do you? I know Mystic. He was the originator. He was the one who put the woo in the tag. <laughs> um, oh, boy. This you know, is old dirty bastard. Old dirty bastard. That's who went to jail. Mm-hmm. Right. He yeah, went to he jail went to, and they yeah. did a uh, film they on his. I want you to know something about it. They all <laughs> went to jail. <laughs> yeah. so you have to say when. <laughs> they all went to jail. Did they all go to jail? Like most, for, for most. realsies, though? Ghostface, most. Ghostface wouldn't say who he was, right? Because when they started, Ghostface he was had wanted. a mask on because he, he had a warrant. Really? When, yeah. he first, when Wu-Tang first came out, that's where Ghostface comes from. No shit. Ghostface yeah. Killer came from because he had to wear a mask. He used to always wear a mask because he didn't want to get... Did you ever see? <laughs> what was that movie with uh, Forrest Whitaker? Uh, Ghost Dog. Ghost Dog. <laughs> you don't like Ghost Dog. I never saw you it. don't like Ghost saw. Dog. Man. Ghost <laughs> Dog. You know, dude, I never saw. But I know RZA. Fuck is you, dude. Ghost Dog. <laughs> give is, you that sounds so stupid. You're gonna say for nightmares, man. No. Is it good? Did you ever He's see Ghost Dog? Samurai. No, no, I didn't you see, you ever see Ghost it? Dog. <laughs> what is it? it sounds... Dude, it is such a great independent fucking movie about the hood and fucking a uh, samurai. Um, <laughs> Forrest Whitaker's like a Ford, Forrest Whitaker is a killer. I don't like that you're going. Uh, he's Kuh. just he's a fucking what? You're saying all your words urban now because we're talking about rap. Yeah, I know. Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk Forrest like that. Whitaker. Yo 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 yo. Check <laughs> it. I don't what. First of all, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Second of all, I'll yeah, check pull, this out. Check I'm gonna put out. my foot in your ass, son. <laughs> <laughs> I would be great. No one says that. I would have been great on '98. But what's up, motherfucker? You don't even know. I, I got 98, RZA. 97. Yeah. Hot 97. Yeah. 90, they changed The it. most Hot iconic no. radio station. 98 yeah. was like the classic <laughs> R&B yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 check it. <laughs> Where yo, are after this Teddy <laughs> Pendergrass. <song? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> we should have a smooth R&B. Just listen to Jodeci with our shirts off. Great. All right. Well, <laughs> can I give it to him? Can I give it to him now? No, no I, don't, I just don't want him to touch it. Okay. Because I don't want whatever he has today to stay in the studio. <laughs> to Siki? I don't know. What, it's just a wordy fucking hipster. I'm just, you know, I think, I think I'm just kind of throwing out topics to maybe we could all jump off on. But okay, just look at me like I'm an asshole. That's fine. You know, it's not a cooperative thing here. This show is fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> just I all let me go, hang me Ghost Dog, Ghost Dog, first of all, the soundtrack's fucking crazy. Yeah. But What's the, dope? The mo- it's dope, son. But uh, <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> Ghost Dog is fucking, it's it's funny. It's a good movie. But it's incredibly fu- cool as shit. He, he has this little booklet that he kind of goes by, The Way of the Samurai, and there's a lot of narration in it. Uh, which I don't like. I don't like narrative in a movie. Yeah. Um, and I just don't. It's like it's like a cop out. Just write it. Let the characters say it. Let them do it. You know. You're, Exposition you're, is that what you're thinking it, of? It's just like all right, fucking uh, one time. But the way they do it in this is actually cool because he's he's and then it's like a mobster movie. It's like a it's like a hitman slash mobster slash fucking fucking weird kung fu movie. movie. It's a weird movie, but it's it's very independent, but it's fucking great. If you you should definitely check it out. And Forrest Whitaker is the shit in it, and he owns pigeons. It's fucking weird, man. But I <laughs> I love that movie. You got to check that out. It's a fucking great flick. What else we got? Uh, George Dizzle says, "Oh shit, a relevant black guy on the show." Shout out to Cipher. 
He's um, not black. Yeah, he's so. not. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. Wow. Speaking of relevant, yeah, good observation. Jesus. Yeah, what are you not watching? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucking. Yeah, I get that so all the time. <laughs> a relevant black guy yeah, relevant. on the show. Yeah. Uh, just what a, other black guys have you had on the show? Uh, Mike Brown. Exactly. Mm, irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had, uh, what was the dude from Philly? Dave Temple. Dave Temple. Oh. Who else? Uh, we had Monroe. You never had Keith we, on? We had well, Keith Robinson. Yeah. yeah, we've had Keith on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to come fun. on with Keith sometime. Yeah, I would love to have Keith on, but he, uh, you know, he'll come in. He'll just walk in and just trash, smash somebody's face, and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> I goodbye. <stupid. laughs> walk out. You know Keith. Uh, plus, he's got to come from Philly. We do this <laughs> too. He's not coming in. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Uh, someone asks you to name fat uh, five fat rappers if you could. Fat Joe, Big yeah. Pun, there you go. Uh, Big Big Poppy, Human Beatbox. What's that? Heavy big, D. Uh, heavy D. You got uh, one more, right? I got one more. You right? got this. Wait, you got three. P- fat Joe, Pun, Heavy D. Yeah. Human and then, Beatbox. Um, wait, no, no, no. You got. Oh. You got. The look, run, run. Uh, uh, Come on, dude. DJ Run. He's fat. Run, run from Run no. DMC. He's fat. No. No. You're missing the most no. obvious one. It's it literally in his name. What's in his name? The oh, fat. <laughs> How big he is. N- yeah, kind of. Oh, Biggie Smalls. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Biggie Smalls. But there's another one, too, right? You did the word big. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that you're a cunt today. <laughs> you're being a cunt to me. I'm not being a cunt. I my think show. you are. I'll be a cunt. Well, I think you are. Oh, then <laughs> fuck it. You're not getting kisses after the no, show. No, give me a little smooch. <laughs> <laughs> you still got one more. <laughs> I do. Um, okay. Uh, PM Dawn. <laughs> right, yeah. He's fat as yeah. fuck, and he lives in Jersey City. He Pretty gets good. up early. Action Bronson. <laughs> he, gets up. he gets up early because he's up on. Gets up very early. Now, they had one hit. What was their yeah. hit? What was that rap song? It was like a hippie rap. Wasn't it like Spando Ballet? Yeah, they used uh, Spando sample. Ballet. Yeah. I forgot the name of the song. What was that song? Something... Memory or float on memories. Or I referenced them at the table, and no one knew what the hell I was talking about. Because uh, Jermaine Fowler has PM Don hair now. Yeah, <laughs> no one knew what I was talking about. That's a good. That's a good joke. He doesn't <laughs> have PM Don. What was the song? It was like a hippie love. It was. Yeah. It was really. Isn't uh, it something you send me? Yeah. Something. You, like yeah. What is yeah. it? Yeah. Are you googling it? I'm trying. It, w- it was Spando Ballet yeah, sample. Sample. Uh, what else you got in the chat room when we're getting this? Uh, Wasavia says, I don't like stops. Memory bounce- Bliss. Oh, yeah. What is it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Memory <laughs> Bliss. Memory Bliss. But how'd yeah, it go? You got it? <laughs> Can you play a little of it? No? Yeah. Let me see. Uh, you got it? It's loading. <laughs> what, you got an old iPhone? What is that, a four? Three. You have yeah, a three? You have wow. a three? No, it's a five. Uh, uh, you have a f- he said five. Like, that's good. Yeah. We're on 6S, dude. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Dude, come you on. You know what this does? It calls listen, people listen and takes text one. messages. Okay, Papa. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, why is it not playing? What's happening? I don't know. Because your <laughs> phone stinks. <laughs> yeah, this brings me back, man. Wait. Wait for it to kick in. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a good song, yeah. man. <laughs> it's a good song. It is. Oh, you, hey. can, you can finger fuck any Jersey girl in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start, this, is when you start, this is when you start we'll kissing it. Lauren Right on that <laughs> yeah. And then you lean in And then you yeah. grab a titty Right uh-huh. And now then you run down the <laughs> Right Oh, oh Cruising the pike Ah oh, shit That's great stuff uh, <laughs> What else you got in the chat <clears throat> uh, Wasavia says I don't like Stav's bouncer shirt It's not for him Oh, well. he, he looks sexy, so... Thank you, Lauren. You Yo. keep saying that. Do you think Stav... Stav yeah. laughing like you're joking afterwards. <laughs> Would you fuck Stav? I love you, but no. Oh, my God. That's, you wouldn't. Well, why you wouldn't you? Why not? Why not? It's I fine. should be offended at that, too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> By proxy. <laughs> Wait, I'll give you... I'll shoot you a maybe. A maybe. Well, you're just lying to me. You know what? Yeah. Guess what, Lauren? I wouldn't have sex with you. I can't even get through it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. You know, it's so weird because... I'm gonna say that I'm gonna get a fucking beating for this, but I I was out today. I mean, you know, it's fall. And I'm in my backyard. I finally got my driveway paved, a brand new driveway, and my backyard's fine. You've been in my backyard. It's beautiful, a beautiful backyard, and the leaves are falling. And I, I raked a pile of leaves together, and me and my kid I literally I played in it for two hours. So all he wants to do is just be in a big pile of leaves. Because I remember when I was a kid, you know, leaves were fun. Yeah. And uh, I don't remember when I saw a kid playing leaves, 
you know. But we fucking were sitting there playing in leaves, and the fucking trees are beautiful, and the house looks good. And then we we went out front, and we hung lights on the on the bushes. Um, we put up pumpkins and and and, and a scarecrow, and and uh, we put a, we put a fucking blow up uh, pumpkin dude and. We it, we set up the whole front of the thing, and I'm sitting there like. Then I went in the back, and the kid went to sleep, and I'm smoking a cigar in my on my bench, and uh, I'm like, "Oh my god, this is the best! I am such a fuck. <laughs> I'm such. I love fucking. I love Here's being married. I love ha- I love being in the suburbs. I'm gonna cry. I love, <laughs> I love having a kid." I'm oh. like, I was like, holy shit, I fucking did it. Yeah, you did, man. I fucking did it. And, th- like, I looked over, and my neighbor was was mowing his lawn, and my other neighbor had his leaf blower, <laughs> and I, I, they both waved at me at the same time. <laughs> God. And then, you know, Max was on the, fr- like, in my, in my arms, and Dolores, the lady next door, who's, like, the best lady in the fucking world, and... She comes up and like gets out of her, pulls her car, gets out to give. Max runs down and gives her a big hug and kiss. It's like I'm in like fucking the. I mean, if they ever knew <laughs> what I jerked off, what the porn I watched, <laughs> this would all come tumbling down. Like, this would, <laughs> There'd be a town hall meeting to make kick you Max out. Max would be taken away. <laughs> yeah. no, nobody would say hi to me. You know what I mean? Just me in the back of my in, the, in a shed in my backyard. But it was. Fuck, I love, dude. I fucking love it. That's awesome. And because I've never ever had any of that shit. Like what? Like stability. The father. <laughs> the father. You know. You have um, a father now. Yeah, stability. Yes, yeah, stability. You never had a dad. Not really. I mean, I've had a bunch of people in right. that spot, but not from here to here. <laughs> right, not from you. you know birth to fucking yeah. you know death. Yeah. You know. Which I mean, you have usually. a dad, right? That's. I mean, Jesus Christ. What a dad to have, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we, I know you probably. You, I'd say that you fucking open up and have a bunch of problems. Like, no, he's you know. But <laughs> we all have that. Max is gonna have. We all have. You're gonna have that. With oh, your Max kid. will have that. Yeah. <laughs> but but you created that. What do you Max, say it like that? What do you say? Oh, it no, like they're that? just making conversation. What do you? <laughs> oh, no big deal. What do you say? Oh, I don't want to be a cunt. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're being very. You're being a passive. I'm t- I'm t- I'm turning up the cuntiness actually. Yeah, Sorry we, about that. Do you have a father, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's he, not. Is he in Greece or is he in the States? Huh? Is he in Greece or is he? He's in the here. States? Is he Mediterranean American? Like Greece he's a, to play? He's, a, he's just, a Medi- just a Mediterranean. Oh, from he refused to become an American. Oh really? He what got was... kicked out of his citizenship test. <laughs> really? What? Yeah, yeah. For what? He was just cursing at the guy because he they he failed because he spelled everything wrong. <laughs> Like he didn't know the language, yeah. and uh, is that why you're you're so you pride yourself on being like having some type of intelligence? So what is that wh- some type of? See how you get cunty with it? Like yeah. you really pride yourself on being? I don't know. Like, I just I really usually don't, but it's just when everyone I hang out with doesn't know words, it makes me feel like you know. What, what do you mean words? What? You, do you hang out with I wish that was children? A cunt police. Yeah, I, I, I hang out mostly with toddlers. <laughs> <I really didn't. laughs> you're under arrest. What do you mean? I uh, know I'm fucking with you because you're dumb, but um, oh. and he come on, guy, everyone here loves Bobby too much, and none of these. That's jokes not true. Are you, you're you're being a. I'm not. Even, I love you to death, Star Wars. You're being uh like um, I don't know. You're being like alternative cunty today. I'm, I don't know I'm what you're thinking. You think no? You try, what do you have a new? <laughs> you have a new I don't club know. You're I, f- trying to I get felt into? attacked earlier. For and what? I, I don't know. I'm just uh. What's well, the, the bouncer dummy? Shirt you con? can't listen to me. You're mm-hmm. Stupid. Don't, yeah. If I ask you something, and then you say something, and then I go talk about it, and then you go, I'm what, just kidding. What are we Either talking about? If you're kidding. I'm uh, kidding. No, no. I'm well, well, Don't say, you. say something. No, 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 no. Say something or don't. I okay. mean, if you have something to say, did you feel attacked? I feel this is becoming a real, th- I was just fucking did I, around. No, but did no, I no. really hurt your feelings no, earlier? you did not. Seriously. Oh, no. All right. Well, you, you, is you just being a cunt just for no reason? Being a cunt, trying youth stuff, you know. All right, all right. For I the fall, know. trying okay. to being a cunt. All right, I didn't know. All right, that's fine. You can be a cunt. <laughs> Thank you. But I, I didn't, I thought I really hurt your feelings. No, you didn't. Okay, good. You I, didn't. I don't want to hurt your feelings, poopy. Thank you, Bobby. Let's have wings after this. Uh, no, Ooh. I'm not eating with you. You're a fucking oh, cunt. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um. But, I mean, having a dad, like you had a dad. You have oh, yeah. a dad. Yeah. Your dad's cool, right? Yeah, he knows words and everything. Um, Look at that. What about you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah I'm close to my dad. 
Oh, cool. And you? No dad. My no dad, dad. My dad died when I was like three. Is Ooh. that a Puerto Rican thing? <laughs> like Dad's dying? <laughs> okay, he died in you? a knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lose Jay Gomez. <laughs> what, his dad died? His dad, in yeah. a knife fight. Yeah, in a, oh, knife really? in a yeah. literal Jeez, knife fight. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was kidding. <laughs> no, my dad uh, drowned, actually. He oh, drowned? Wow, yeah. Was he trying to save a bunch of people? <laughs> no. Was he coming uh, to this he, country? Um, <laughs> <laughs> he drowned. <laughs> Drown on his way to this country. Uh, nah, my dad was like legally blind. Like he wore like thick glasses, and yeah. he was on a boat, and it fell over, and well, he lost his glasses. Right oh, and oh my he, god! Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's it's fucked up. It was like in a newspaper and everything. I have like the newspaper clipping, and he was like just didn't know where to go because he couldn't see. He couldn't like Jesus. know which way to swim. Oof. Wait yeah. a minute, man. So your dad couldn't see. The boat sinks. Yeah, or tipped over something. They were fishing. Capsized. Or yeah, I'm sure right? they were drunk. Okay. Yeah. And then he's in the water at night lost, or day? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the whole thing. And was know, he, he way lost. out? Yeah, he's like pretty far. Where out. was he? Somewhere like the, like the Long Island Sound. Oh, okay. Did you read the clipping? Because it was probably on that. <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> when I was younger, I read it. Like, really? So yeah. you still have it? You haven't read it yeah. since you were young. I read it. <laughs> I actually, uh, yeah. I asked my mom recently, like, was is that true? Because my cousin called me once, drunk, and he was like. You think he's yelling about a bunch of shit, and he goes, and plus your father, you think he drowned? He didn't drown. He was in the streets. He was a gangster. In the sh I was like, what? Was he? <laughs> was he? No. I mean, he might have been, but he <laughs> drowned <laughs> fishing. <laughs> That's the, imagine if... <laughs> Imagine if uh, like Goodfellas ended like that, like, a black mass just ended like that. Yo, let's go fishing. Just <laughs> fucking Josh fishing. That sucks, dude. So your father was he a gangster? Was he? Nah, that has sure. to, that has to be true. My dad was young, so I'm sure he like he was a young Puerto Rican in the '70s. He did some shit in the streets, but not like he wasn't no king pet or anything. Right? Yeah, he fucking. My mom said he was the nicest guy. Always had people over. Uh, he drove an ice cream truck. Shit. <laughs> he sold drugs out of it, too, though, right? <laughs> <Is that a? laughs> Look at Jack's like, ah, that's too much. <laughs> so, no, but I'm reading this book called No More Mr. Nice Guy, and it's all about, like, uh, the uh, big syndrome of not having a dad growing up. Right. And I just became a dad, so I'm, like, nervous. That's why I always ask about people being fathers. Like, how, did how you have you a kid? Dad? Six months. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. So I'm fucking nervous. Hey, you should, girl. Yeah, you girl. should be. Cool. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. as president of the Deadbeat Dad Club, you know. Where's your dad? Oh, he left. He's gone. Oh, Can nice. You, are, you, are you president of the fucking anticlimactic club? <laughs> 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 no, I'm just saying. You'll, your daughter will be fine. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I don't like this shit. That, had, that shit had so much people. <laughs> well. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> as president. do a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Um. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm a piece of shit, too. And that's exactly my point, is I'm yeah. looking around going, oh, my fucking God. I'm the dad I never had. Right. That's fucking Was awesome. Is that your you goal, know? though? No, it's not your goal. It just happens. Because, um, you know, when you have a kid and you decide to have the state, you know, be around, okay, let's do this, you know? Yeah. Um, you guys both decided, right? right yeah. You and, <laughs> well no because sometimes you can have a kid and be like I don't do you, I don't want to do this yeah. yeah but if there's a point where she, I'm pregnant cool yeah. let's do it and what's gonna happen I think with women immediately there's a connection with guys the connection builds every day with, with the kid with the kid yeah 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 it's well like, some people told me some guys were like oh when you first see your daughter. It's an instant connection. And no. when she came out, I was like, I don't feel shit. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. I was like, I'm, I'm going to ruin this kid. I, I, guarantee, I guarantee this is what you did. You faked, you faked the whole thing. Where you go, oh, wow. No, I don't really fake the Baby. Shit, so yeah. you, really? What did you say when yeah. it came out? What did you, you say when snubbed it came your out? baby? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was pretty hectic. Like, Yo, I'm keeping it real. I don't feel shit. No, I, <laughs> no, that was like I was nervous because like when you have a baby, like there's all these people rush into the room and they did fucking. I didn't have anybody. Him. I had yeah. fucking some Asian doctor, and this. The, dude, I'm not even kidding you. We had this really cool nurse. Yeah. She was in there. She was awesome. Yeah. The helping the doctor. nurses are usually cool. In the middle of it, this grumpy black lady. <laughs> she walks in. 
They need you out over in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to take over for you. My my wife went. I don't want her. <laughs> it, with a fucking head in her vag. <laughs> I don't want her. Literally, in f- to her face. Good wow. for her. I don't want her. That's I good. want her. That's yeah. good. And she went, they went, uh, uh, they got it, though. They were like, yeah, we get it. And she went, just go back. I'll, I'm going to stay here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I was yeah. fucking laughing. She this lady came in. We're never gonna make it. The baby, <laughs> the baby's gonna die. Yeah, that's not you, your first. Uh... You're bleeding too much. <laughs> um, dude, that it, shit was it, intense. As though. soon as the baby comes out, though, I was like, "Wow, oh!" You and watched was, it come out? Uh, no, yeah. I, it came out, yeah, and then I, I held out. it. Yeah, no, I but it, uh, it is a fucking. It's a. It's a thing that. Every day you connect more yeah. and more. Oh yeah, now yeah. now it's crazy. But wait, wait until and for guys, wait until he or she, wait she wait when she smiles. Yeah, wait she till smiles, you yeah. wait wait till you really <laughs> make her. She'll smile, but wait till you you make her laugh. Yeah, and she and wait till they you hear da yeah, da, yeah, yeah. and then they start. Dude, I'm telling you, it gets more and I'm deeper. Not, no. With a woman, it's there from the second. Of course. But with a guy, it builds and builds and fucking builds. Yeah, it's crazy. Right now, dude, me and my kid were fucking in the backyard. How old is he? <laughs> He's two and a half. Okay. He came out front, helped me with the light. He's helping me do yeah, shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he fucks things up when he helps. But uh, <laughs> He's a baby. <laughs> but he uh, can't you know, even do chores. He's like, two year old. He's like, dude, you gotta shove a shovel and fucking get the dirt and put it in the right spot. <laughs> he spilled half. He came up with an empty shovel that helps me nothing. <laughs> I would have been out here fucking 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, I can't fucking believe it, dude. I mean, you, look, you know, you, it's like not having a dad. It's you. You're looking for a dad your whole life. Yeah. You're looking for that guy or that mentor to help you, and then all of a sudden you have a kid. You're the guy. Yeah. And then there's no, there's no, you, there's no, you cannot not wake up. You cannot not watch the baby. Yeah. You have to change it. You have to feel. You have. There's not. There's no way out of it. Yeah. It's the first thing in your life. Like the military, you said fuck it an hour right. before. Right. You'll never be able to say fuck it to <laughs> yeah. your kid. Yeah, you can't you be do, like you're a piece of shit. You can't. You can't. And I don't. I, the guys like us. Who? Somebody asked me today. Like, do you think it's because of? You not know, having a dad. Not having a dad that made you be a good dad. Uh, I think it's just instinctually you know what not to do. Yeah. I don't know if I know what to do. I just know what not to do. Yeah. You know, me and my wife got in a, not a fight. I was telling you today. You know, it's just the way I am needs to change. Like, I can't be 20-year-old Bobby with nobody in my life fucking fighting my way for everything I fucking got. You still have little things from, like, little habits from when you were 20? Not little. No, but it's hard. Big. But you're bi- the business, though. We're, yeah, but we're kids. It doesn't. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter, though. You still can be that way. It doesn't. It doesn't matter where it, it, you can. You know you have to fix it, but it's harder for us. None of us wear suits to work. We don't, oh, sorry. We don't like is that a regular ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three. Really, it's an iPhone three. So. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So like we we're we're like we're young like at heart. Yeah. Our job is to like make people laugh and stuff. So yeah. I don't ever like. I went from DJing. Now I do comedy. Like I don't ever want to wear a suit. I only I wore a suit at my wedding. That was it. What about a funeral? No, I don't go to funerals <laughs> at all. <laughs> Not really. Really? It's very rare. I don't want to wear. Feel, I, I don't know what the suit thing means, but listen. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go with you. I know. I understand what you're saying. I, I don't want to be that guy either. But I'm talking about being a dad, about you know being a yeah. husband or a boyfriend or whatever the fuck you are, and being a father. It's like you. I don't want my kid to have my shitty parts that were handed to me. Yeah, I was going over. I was, t- you know, look. I'm a fucking angry guy. I got a temper. I. Uh, but at the core of who I am, I'm a sweet, really sweet guy. Uh, I. I want to help anybody. Give as much as I can. And I just want to fucking. You know, I don't care how silly it sounds. I just want to love my people in my life and have yeah. them love me back. But. Same. I was given all this fear and fucked up respect shit and because at a very young age I was uh you know phys- you know you stupid dummy asshole stupid hit whacked 
you know, I had to sit there and watch my sister, you know, at, in, you know, first, second grade, and she's in fifth grade being, you dumb fatso, why do you eat so much? You're so fat, it's going to be... And I had to sit there because if I said anything or tried to protect her, I would get it. Yeah. And, you know, it's like... It, and then there comes a point where it builds and builds and builds, and then you fucking... You can't take it, and you snap. And you then you realize, oh, that's how you get respect. Oh, that's how this world right. works. Fuck you, you fuck. You want to fuck with me? I'll fuck it. I'll drag your face along the fucking pavement, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> fucking cocksucker. <laughs> and that works. Right, and it, right. it does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the guys I hung out with, the kids and... That, you know, you like I said, we fucking, you know, uh, you, beat you, the shit out of that guy. Yeah, yeah. Like that lesson but teacher. I, yeah. <laughs> I remember the first time I really caught a, a beating by four men and I, I was bloody head from toe and we were walking back to the projects. My friend had a bleeding kidney because uh, they kicked Oof. him so much. Oh. But I remember I was so proud of myself that I didn't cry. I was I was 13 or 14 and we're walking. I got blood everywhere and we're kind of limping, trying to hop a fence. And I'm like, dude, I didn't cry. He's like, y- y- you didn't? I was like, no, I didn't cry, man. He was like, good for you, man. I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ. I was 13 or 14. I took a beating from what men. What caused it? What do you mean? What, 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 what was the situation where you got beat I, up? We bought, we were stupid. We bought weed at the Sunville Projects at 12 at night. And they were like, hey, you want to smoke with us? And we said no. Oh. Yeah, we should have been a little more polite. Yeah. <laughs> and so they, they. So it was an etiquette beating? <laughs> it was, it was a, we're going to be, you know, we were going to kick the shit out of you. You shouldn't be in here. But, you know, smoke weed with us, and we might not. And we said, fuck you. And they said, okay, fuck you. We'll take your weed, and we're going to beat the fuck out of you. So, wow. um, but, yeah, it's like, my, oh, man. Like, I'm not passing that on. My, my kid, I'm never going to call my kid fat or stupid or dumb. Or, yeah. yeah. You know? That's why, like, like even joking around, with, like, people say dumb. You call me dumb, whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't like that shit to, like, kids. I don't like oh, when no. kids do that shit. Yeah. No, man. You know? I fucking hate that Wait, shit. Kids, kids saying it to each other? I don't like It's like fucking, like a, a you know. Nah, kids to each other, they don't know. But an yeah. adult to a kid. Stu- it's ridiculous. It's bad. Could you imagine that? No. My wife doesn't even like me talking bad about myself in, in front of, of my daughter. Yeah, I, th- well, I think that's important not to yeah, do that. But I think, I think everyone does that. But I, I've, yeah, I've you don't realize. Seen, it. Yeah. I really know. Yeah. I, we're I, fucking I, comics. We always like, ah, I'm fucking. Fucked up last night, or I did this, or whatever. And she's like, "Stop talking like that in front of her." I'm like, "She doesn't understand," but she's probably absorbing it. Or yeah, yeah. It'll Someone, continue. it's a hard thing too because we leave. Like I have to leave for two weeks, and it's killing me. And that's why where I have to put it in perspective, like it could be worse. Right. But also, I'm home a lot more than the regular guy that goes nine right. to five. Yeah. Because yeah. he only has Saturdays and Sundays right. and sc- maybe nights here and there. Maybe, yeah. I've been home all fucking week. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's also hard, too, because I got to go leave for a couple hours and go right somewhere. Do I have to self-motivate. Yeah. yeah. Which is a motherfucker, you know. Um, yeah, because you don't have to do it. Right. But you have to. Yeah. So it's... Uh, you know, it's 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 amazing having a kid, but it's the you know it's that that relationship. I swear too much. I get angry. I can't get angry in front of my kid, man. You get angry in front of a kid. Watch what happens. They quiet down. Right. They but quiet. they say you spo- if you get angry, like if you fight with your wife, yeah, you're supposed to make up with your wife in front of the kid also. Yeah. Yeah. It's, mm. it's, 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 so I, like you show important. like fighting is inevitable. It's gonna happen in a relationship. Uh-huh. But then show the makeup. Makeup so sex like, in front of the kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I've heard that. Right in front of the kids. Yeah, you gotta you, and really fuck her. Like you <laughs> yeah, really give it to her yeah. big time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the YKWD podcast does not endorse. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna have kids? Uh, I think so eventually, yeah. Yeah, what about you, Staff? I don't know, man. Uh, I have a... Uh, I had a weird... Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? I was me? wondering how cunt your kids are going to be. No, no I'm kidding. It's going to be great. I uh, no, I, I probably... I, I don't know. I'm just so focused on trying to do comedy and that kind of thing. It's ridiculous how focused you are. Yeah, thank you. No, I don't mean that as a compliment. Okay, You well, need to fucking... Right. <laughs> I, know you're, I know you're scared, but uh-huh. you're funny. You're funny, dude. Thank you. I get it. I know you're doing what 20 year olds do. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's city. what I have to do, though. You yeah, know, I just know, moved you, here. No one knows. Yeah, I got to get on. But you don't spots, have, you don't have to say more. it. You can, you can actually, you can live life, man. I'm telling you, the only place, look, you're doing, ev- you're doing everything everybody, you're supposed to do when you move here. Plus, you're funny, Stav. You know what I mean? So you, you, you don't have to have that 
as a mission statement. You know, I'm just trying. I get it, but you should be happy too and live life. I know. I mean, but I just moved. You know, I feel like I got to get I things going. I know. Here. And look, how old are you? I'm 26. Yeah. Yeah, he's 26, but That's he's already age, he's already fucking. Con- I know it is. I was the same age. way. I, I moved here when I was 27, 28, and it's just fuck everybody. Yeah. Comedy. I don't care about anything else. Comedy. I get it, but yeah, like it's hard. I don't know. It's hard to like feel like I could be in a relationship with somebody right now because I feel like I'm just focused and yeah, you know. Yeah, that just, that's that's bad though. Because you can still be now, focused. Though, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I feel you. Like when I go to L.A., when I go to L.A. to have meetings about TV stuff. I'm pitching and stuff. Hang, and on, like, hang on one second. Uh, Depot, that's like in the business. <laughs> 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 go to L.A. Oh, wow. like, pitching is actually it's like, hey, I got this idea. It's like an idea. I thought it was baseball. Okay, good. <laughs> but like I go to every meeting and I don't, I don't, I just do, like, I focus for those two, three days I'm there, just right. hardcore. And I'm like, damn, I could, I could do this at home, but I'm home right now. You're not at home, you just moved here. Right, right, So right. you're going, like, hard at everything. Yeah, and it's just, like, I mean, I also think it's kind of a cycle, which is, like, just how I am as a human, like, as a person, like, an emotional cycle of, like, you know, you just, everyone has their work and their ups and downs and that kind of thing. And I just feel like right now I'm in a very trying to get focused and trying to get settled in and then yeah. you know as, as I get more comfortable like I have I haven't even lived in a I'm moving into a new place this weekend I haven't lived I've been here since August I've just been crashing on couches the oh, whole time yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's been That's brutal yeah, yeah. there's been no stability at all so it's just kind of been like you know I go hang out try and meet people try and do spots that kind of thing yeah. no I hear you dude I mean you, I, I, you're right you should I mean you should be doing focused in on that and get your shit together but you know, you don't have to f- not enjoy yourself. I'm, a, you know, doing all right, having fun. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> uh, I d- yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm close to. M- I'm really. I have a nephew that I'm really, really close to. That's weird. Yeah, I, would, uh, I would love a nephew. Why is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> Just that sentence weird. I have a nephew that I'm really, really close to. <laughs> no, so I don't really know. Really. Like I love kids. I love kids. That's weirder. That's I, lo- <laughs> I love. <laughs> Just their <laughs> sexy little bodies. <laughs> no, but like what you said when you were talking about today, I'm like, oh my god, that sounds like the best. But I, I don't know. It's the fact. It best. sounds cool, but it just seems like so far away. Yeah, There's so much that goes uh, into that moment. It seems like moment. yeah, it's a hundred it. steps away. It's oh man, it's so far. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. Just sitting there, playing in the fucking league. Yeah, that kid's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Holy dude. Shit. Yeah, it's Maxie. fucking look at oh. that. Wow. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I mean, awesome. it's fucking ridiculous hanging with look at that. Look at that's my back. I mean, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It is ridiculous. But I never ever wanted it. Never fucking thought I liked it. Right. I, I just wanted to look, honest to God, I wanted to do comedy, bang fucking chicks. Yeah. I wanted to get my dick sucked. I wanted to have fun with my friends. <laughs> uh-huh. And I wanted to do stand up. See, that sounds pretty ideal. Yeah, that it's, sounds great. That's, it is ideal. Yeah. But when when that does go away, when it's oh, my point is it's okay to have this too. Yeah. The kid, it's okay to have a kid. It, you know, we have fear. If I don't just focus on comedy, I won't attain my my goals. Right. But in reality, when you have a kid, when you do fall in love, when you move out of your comfort zone, or you become funnier because you have your world becomes bigger. Yeah, you know totally, more yeah. about yeah. things. You experience. And you can more. relate better to people. You can relate better to a lot more than just fucking, uh, you know, pussy and topics. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds like a cool game show. Pussy, pussy and, and topics. topics sounds like a great name for a fucking podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and Laura, Deepu, fucking Scopo would have fucking never even thought of it. I'm like, what was that thing? I don't know. <laughs> I thought we were going to name it Fatso. <laughs> <laughs> We've named eight episodes Fatso, Chris. We need a new title. <laughs> What's the chat room got? We're going to wrap it up right now. What's the chat room got? Hayden Spivey says this episode should be called Fireside Stories by Bob Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I knew I didn't. I pre- I preface it by saying I'm going to get shit for this. Right, right, right. You because did. these did. fucking savages in the chat don't don't like happiness. If I was like, dude, last night I fucking might have got herpes from a hooker. <laughs> yeah. Fucking no. Oh, a They're plus. In. Thumbs up on all the <laughs> <laughs> Click, 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 like, like, like. I talk about fucking having a kid and playing in leaves. What a fucking sissy pants he is. <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> What's his name again? Uh, Hayden. Hayden what? What's his fuck? Read it the way you read Hayden it. Hayden Spivey. Yeah, fuck you, Spivey. Spivey. I have, I'm happy. <laughs> and I don't need you to okay it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, I wish Sounds you would have liked it. Yeah. 
A little bit. I think you're fucking mumbling, cutting this. Sorry, I really yeah. don't. I gotta take a nap. Of, you you know, go lie sorry. down, you fucking baby <laughs> whale. That was that was mean. That was mean. What else we got? It's all right. Uh, through your tears says. <laughs> oh boy. Such a weird name, right? I actually love that name. What a <laughs> fucking great screen <laughs> name. <laughs> through your tears. I hope it's just a fucking really mean fat joke to me right now, yeah. and that's where he got <laughs> it from. Go ahead. Uh, he says. Once Bobby loses his loses his show, he'll go back to his old ways. What's that? Wow. Wait, what are you talking what about? What does that mean? Yeah. I think he means that once a uh, if sorry if the show gets <laughs> <laughs> once. once if uh, it, you know who's the cunt now SDRR gets off the air, you'll go back to you know uh, comedy and pussy. What? Yeah. There's, there's no if. What, what are you talking about? I I I I've been happily married for eight years. The show's <laughs> been on for a fucking year. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fucking dumb, dumb. Yeah, you hear that through your fucking, tears? Yeah. Yeah, well, dude, through yeah. your tears is what a dumb... F- you didn't <laughs> think it through, stoop, stupid. <laughs> I make more money doing my stand-up than I did on the show, first of all, okay? Uh, and, uh, and the show's not going anywhere. The show's not going... The show's a it's fucking hit. Up. It's on for a second season. I don't know. Okay, maybe Dennis... Go. Dennis, it's not it's not the Bob Kelly sex. It's Dennis <laughs> Leary <laughs> sex drugs. It's going to stick around for a minute. Dummy. <laughs> 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 and my, it's not like I have a million dollars. I don't have a yacht and a fucking townhouse in fucking the Lower East Side. I have a fucking I have mid-century ranch. <laughs> all right? In Westchester. I'm talking about you got a good set up there, though. <laughs> all right? It's a contemporary, no basement, no attic ranch. It's very, like it's, it. it's inexpensive. Open layout. What's that? Open concepts. <laughs> just fucking say. Uh, <laughs> just. <laughs> your what else you got? Uh, someone in the chat asks where Stav gets his glasses. Zenny.com. It's a great web. Ch- I don't know. Should How I pull something? Fourteen dollars. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They look at w- with the glass. All right. Yep, they do. <laughs> Who but said that? Fourteen dollars? Yeah, with the with the prescription. That seems like a crazy deal. Broke? Yeah, someone in China is getting fucked here. In a you know in a. You mean a prescription? Uh, a no, is that like uh, Tom's shoes? When you buy shoes, you get a free pair. You buy those glasses. Someone yes. in China gets fucked. So oh, okay. yeah. All right. yeah, all right. It's a hell of a promotion. Yeah. An American optometrist <laughs> is getting fucked, actually. I think so. I don't know. Where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, he has it. Oh, good. All right. That saves time. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got to ask, fuck? Um... I don't have anything else queued up. Go to the right regular now. chat right now. First thing, uh, read it. Through your tears comes back. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Through <laughs> your tears. I knew I gave him enough time. <laughs> I, get, I knew I gave him enough time to write something. Right. <laughs> Here we go. He simply says, "You're too happy, Bobby. Too uh, happy." Uh, the fuck well, is yeah, who mean? isn't too happy through your tears? <laughs> 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 I it, it, I really am ridiculously happy right now. Ridiculously That's happy. That's awesome. Good for you, man. So, um, you know. Whatever, it's good. All right, listen, we're gonna wrap it up. Let's go around the room real quick. Uh, Jack, you got anything to plug? Benders Thursday nights on oh, good show, man. Uh, Do you watch it? Yeah. Okay, cool. I like it's it. Funny. Yeah. Nice. It's on uh, the Dominican IFC. hockey team is IFC. hilarious. <laughs> the what? Yeah. The Dominican Chubbies. hockey team in the first episode. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I love the uh, when they went on the Christian yeah. uh, hockey team. Yeah, Prodigal same, same but episode. He, but he walks in, he goes. He goes, I'm Christian. He goes, oh, we are too. Yeah. We're all. <laughs> like, no, no, no. My name's Christian. I don't, I don't know why that fucking makes me laugh. I love the uh, line. Uh, Benders, IFC. Look, it, it, it's in the uh, it's in the 700s on where I'm at. What do you got, Time Warner? Uh, no, I have Verizon. What are you, oh. fucking crazy? <laughs> I want to I wanna douche AT&T soon, too. <laughs> um, IFC, Marin, same channel. Yep. And then uh, Sex Drug Season 2. Next Sex July. Drug, uh, fucking next July. Bubba, booba, booba. About to get back in it, baby. Fuck you, Tears for Fears. What was his name? <laughs> Through, Through your, your tears. tears. Through your tears. <laughs> Be back for Season 2. We're going to move Season 3. We're going to work this out? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, spinoff, maybe. Oh, fuck it. Ooh, does he need, how about his son? Yes, yeah, huh? sp- spinoff. <laughs> no, no, you're not on it. Hey, actually. First of all, I, huh? I, I don't like You, you know. know why? Because Bam Bam doesn't know words. Oh uh, no! But and then his smart son, his smart, attractive son, son, comes in, teaches him, <laughs> bam, bam, cures bam. him of his dyslexia. That, I'm so happy. <laughs> it really does make me happy that my kid's gonna get to go f- to school and learn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because from honestly, God, from seventh grade until tenth grade, 
uh, 11th grade, I didn't really go to school. Yeah. I was in juvenile hall. So I didn't learn shit. Uh-huh. So I'm so excited that my kid is going to be smart. I mean, I hope he's not a cunt like Stavros. <laughs> like, I know words. <laughs> People that don't know words. <laughs> fucking, we're talking. We know words, dummy. We just don't know fucking Herculean. See, it's um, a great one, though. It's a great word. I can't Thank get you. it out of my head. I'm dying to use it. And I did. <laughs> so I know words. Go suck my dick. What do you got, um, son? This comes out in two weeks? I think so, yeah. Um, I think, okay, so. Well, first of all, go to his Instagram. Oh, yeah, please, at Stavi Baby, S-T-A-V-V-Y, baby. But here's what you got to do more. You have to post more. I know. Because here's the I problem. I got a ton of stuff coming. I was a fan, and, and I kind of fell off. I'm sorry wow. about that. I fell off because you're not consistent. I the name of the game in Instagramming and podcasting is what? Consistency. Thank you, Irving. Is that your real name? <laughs> yeah, Irving oh, Javier <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Irving Javier Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins is what got me. <laughs> I J J. Fucking great. What else you got? Um, the weekend of the sixth, uh, November sixth. I'm at the DC Improv with David Tell. Ooh, made uh, another connection, did you? That'll be fun. No, just the Improv. Oh, okay. Um. The, uh, the improv, the club that never uses me. The, yeah, they should. Will, you, will you find will. out why they don't use me? I definitely me? will, yeah, of course. Yeah, please find out. Um, the best all improvs or just the DC improv? Just the DC. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then 11-13, I'm at the Keswick Theater in Glenside. With who? Tom Papa. Thank you. Yeah, you uh, always add the headline of your win. I will. I'm <laughs> doing that. <laughs> not to confuse anybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm and not. And to sell tickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, now, we have uh, split custody of you, right? Split custody of okay, you and Papa, yeah, my two dads. <laughs> Bobby and Tom, uh, and then the Baby Grand the next day in Wilmington, and then uh, I'm doing some shows in Virginia for Cool Cow Comedy on the weekend of Do you, yep. December third mm-hmm. through the fifth. Remy, most fun. those are actually pretty cool oh, shows. Oh, so I got I got sh- I'm, I'm doing Magoobies. Oh, when? Uh, I forget, but it's in December. You want to do I'm it? D- I'm d- already doing Magoobies the weekend before so with Christmas. Who? With who? Uh, Mark Norman. Yeah, fucking cancel that. Well, I'm doing it because I'm going home. That's I'm not doing it. I just asked for the weekend. So do 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 do. Why are you stuttering? I'll do two weekend. I'll host do for both. you if you want. Yeah. Do both. Yeah. So we'll go because we you know we'll go to fucking. Uh, I'll go. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. Cool. And uh, follow him on uh, Twitter. Twitter at Stav Comedy, uh, but mostly Stavi Baby. My Instagram. More what do you got? Uh, my special on Comedy Central on November 14th at 12:30. Funny, 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 man. You are fucking hilarious. Oh, thanks, Bobby. And you're one of the quickest guys out there. Fucking, you're, you're a fucking quick draw. Oh, thanks, man. And please uh, follow my Instagram, Phil M. Hanley. Phil motherfucking Hanley. Yeah, make Instagram sure you On Instagram yeah. and Twitter. But, uh, yeah, please watch my special, Comedy Central, 1230 on uh, November 14th. Yeah, and put, put hashtag, you know, you know what, dude, so he knows you heard it here. Yeah, yeah, please. So he knows it. all you fucks who love him from this show, <coughs> support him over there. Okay? I appreciate that. Make sure that. you do that. What do you Thank got, you. man? Me? Okay. A lot oh of shit, things. What All the right. fuck? Here we go. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, no, I got a new Do you want an R&B song like you can yeah, jump in some, the middle of? Give me some grooves. Why do they, remember, they always do that in like Aruba. They'll be playing a great song, and then the guy will just jump in the, the DJ. You know, ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Yo, this weekend tonight, we're going to fucking be in. <laughs> ba-da, ba-da. Like, shut up. I get it. <laughs> Let me hear the song. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, I have a, uh, a stand-up comedy series what? on Tidal. Which is a uh, new streaming service, Jay Z's streaming service. Oh right. shit! Nice. So yeah. Am I so doing that? No, I'm out of town. No, well, I, I'll, I'll explain what I asked you to do. <laughs> so the series comes out Tuesday, <laughs> November third. <laughs> uh, we shot it at the Village Underground. So thanks to Noam and Esty for letting me and Liz for yeah. letting me use the venue. Right. Um. So, uh, the first one is free. You don't have to be a member of Title. So it's Title.com, November third, next mm-hmm. Tuesday. Right. If you're watching live. If you're watching, if you're listening later on, it's still on there, so go watch it. And then, um, and then after that, you have to be a member. But on Tuesday, we also have a show at the Village Underground to celebrate the series premiering. And if you come, you get a free three month membership to Title. Oh, wow. cool! Nice. So, That's great. so come to the Village Underground November third and watch the show on Title.com. T I D A L. Thank great. you. And what's your uh, Twitter? Oh, at Cypher Sounds, C I P H A. That's everything. Cypher Sounds. I'm si- I'm sitting back like this because yeah. my belt buckle is gonna slice it's over my be- stomach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's hurting. Um, dude, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah, come back on, would you? Please. Great. I'd love to. Awesome. I'm downstairs every day. Uh, are you really? <laughs> Almost. Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll have you back on, Lauren. Uh, what do you? What's your Twitter? Oh, baby, at Lauren Kubera, Twitter and Instagram. Awesome. Um, 
You should you get. Got, you got some shows. Coming you should up. get. You should. You should have got Sexy Kelly. Yeah, Sexy Kelly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Deepu, what do you got? Now I'm gonna say something too. Deepu gave me a seven minute set that he did the other night, and I'm you know I'm not gonna play it or anything, but it was really good, man. Oh wow. I mean, he's not. You know. I got some work to do. He's got yeah, absolutely. Fu- we all do, you're but right. you know, you're. Uh, you know, there was definitely some uh, you know gold dust in there. Oh. I didn't see a nugget. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, suggest, yeah. I suggest we dig in this area. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's well put. <laughs> thank you. What hey, do you, you, g- you gave me a lot of notes, and I really appreciate that, Bobby. Yes, so I thank did. you for that. What and do you uh, got? I, I also want to thank, uh, there's a bunch of people that have been helping me get on stage lately. Uh, Patrick Milligan, Aaron Berg. Right, good. The uh, list goes on. So thank you all for that. Yes. On Twitter and Instagram, at r 2 Deepu. So thank yeah, you very Patrick much. Yeah, Patrick in, uh, in, uh, over there, he's... He's helped a lot of guys. Is he helping you out? Yeah, getting spots at the standing room. Good Great for club. you. Good for you. Uh, all right, what do I got? I, look, first of all, I just want to thank all you fans for listening all the time, watching the video on YouTube. This thing has grown crazy, yeah, right? Yeah. So here's what you do. Subscribe. And, and, and hit thumbs up. And hit video. thumbs up. Like, can we find out who hit thumbs down on, like, there's, like, two people. There's right? always mm-hmm. two assholes. It's like, one dude, right? Through you can't tell tears. who. Yeah, you can't uh, tell who you did. Why can't you find them? <laughs> Why can't I find out who that is? Yeah, find out. Yeah, man. Slap the shit out of him. Well, <laughs> no, listen, no, teach we, him a lesson. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have kids. Okay, we have kids. We can't do. I that. didn't say beat him. Slap, slap him. Slapping one, is one not. Slap. Yeah. yeah, one slap. No, are you gonna hit your kid? No. Good. Me neither. But my kid better not give me a thumbs down. All right, <laughs> 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 so sub- <laughs> subscribe to the channel and give it a uh, thumbs up, and uh, and and tell people about it. We're, we're getting a ton of shit, and my my Netflix special is every fucking day. My Twitter feeds oh. uh, go what? I fucking bought your special. Oh no. Uh oh. On on your site, whatever. Thank you, man. I bought it. But I was in a rush, so you can't download it. Can you download it? Yeah. yeah I thought it was just streams. No, you, you own it. It's yours. <laughs> All right. It goes to your computer. So I got it, and then the next week it came out on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, it goes to a good cause. No, thank, but thank you for I, the I rake bought it that I bought today <laughs> no, for, I for my kid. Me, yeah. You were part of that thing with me and my kid in the leaves. Yeah, you're, pro- you're welcome. But you're I, welcome. It's, it's hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's on and Netflix it's right now, and it's fucking killing it on Netflix. Really? Yeah, man. It's uh, good, good for you. I mean, I'm starting. Uh, people are like saying, "Hey, I saw your special on Netflix." Right. Which is never really, you know, I've never had an hour special. When it was on Comedy Central, that never happened. But right. now on Netflix, like people, random motherfuckers yeah. are coming yeah. up. It's great. You know, I, I get recognized. It's the first thing on there. I get recognized mm-hmm. by Louie, and then now it's starting to happen. Sex, drugs. Um, which is cool, uh, and and now Netflix. So uh, yeah, go check it out on Netflix and five star that motherfucker. Five star. I don't care if you think it's a four star. Fuck you. Give me the extra star. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't, that, first of all, this should be a one star and a five star. I don't need three and four. No room, yeah. no room for nuance in your well, life. Well, it's Bobby. like I liked it, but <laughs> fucking suck my dick. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not clam chowder. You fuck. Okay. Uh, I'm, it's an art. You like? I liked it. Good. That's all. Five, yeah, five stars. Star. That's a five star. I liked it, but when he fuck you, there's no buts. Yeah. One fuck it sucked or fucking holy shit five. Yeah. All right. This isn't food. It's not a Yelp review. It's a human being's art. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck. So what do all I got right, for so this? So the fifth through the twentieth, you'll be at JFL 15th anniversary tour. Oh my God! If you're in Canada, you got to get your tickets to this. We're going from Hamilton all the way to Vancouver. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. It's, it's, I fucking love GFL, and this tour is going to be ridiculous. Go ahead. Then uh, December 10th through the 12th, you'll be at Side Splitters in Tampa. Oh, mm-hmm. I love that club, yeah. man. What? You've been a cunt all day. Why am I taking you with me? Because I'm just trying to – because I love you, Bobby. That's, that's the way I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like a little precious I stuff, love you, Bobby. Um, I'll, I'll absolutely do it. I'll see if didn't – I, didn't I get you in? I'm not sure. 
I'll try to get you in. Cool. I gotta get you down there too, and then I gotta no, get, I can you get up. down. I'll get down there. How are you gonna get to drive? Don't worry. I'll figure no, it out. No, I'm not to get. You're not figuring out. Tampa. I just want the work. I I'm can not having out you Tampa. suck truck drivers' cocks <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> for a week and a half to get to Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm what not do you mean? <laughs> it's two cocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two cocks tops. Drive. I get down to Tampa. It's an hour drive, right? Yeah. yeah two absolutely. Cocks. I love that you did the math. What are you a runaway? Lot lizards, man. Dude, it's two cocks. Two cocks. Dude, I made it to Kentucky one. Yeah. <laughs> Jerk the guy <laughs> off. <laughs> Jerk the guy off my What else do I got? Uh, January 8th and 9th, you'll be at Bananas <laughs> what is in that? Hasbrook Heights. Jersey. What is that? Take that phone off the thing. Oh, sorry. Hey, sorry. keep your headphones on, man. Right. See, you would have heard that. <laughs> now you're in the business. <laughs> yeah, we didn't give bananas, a fuck. Bananas, uh, 8th and 9th in Jersey. My hometown. The 8th and 9th in Jersey. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I think it's... Uh, here it is. Thursday. I think it's December 3rd and uh, through the 5th. I'm at Magoobies. Uh, Magoobies, yeah. You're not around. You're uh, at that other place. I think I am somewhere. You're an ass. Oh, no, but I'll be in Virginia, so we can hang out during the day. Oh, but you're not going to be on the show. Probably not, no. You're an ass fuck. I'm sorry. That's all right. I see the way you're rolling. Just like Dan, just like Joe, just like the not, rest of them. Not at all. Just like Chris. Oh, wait, Chris is still here. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> all right, man, here we go. Thank you. Uh, go to robertkellylive.com. All my dates, my acting reel. Make sure you watch Bender's. Uh, on IFC on Thursday nights, and they rerun that shit on Sundays. It's a fucking hilarious show, man. Uh, done by Jim Serpico, Tom Saletti, and all the boys at Apostle. Fucking hilarious. Support that shit. Just go and uh, DVR the whole series uh, and watch that shit. And uh, that's about it. You guys are the best fans in the world. Thanks for listening. And you know what, dude? <laughs> been listening to the ykwd podcast thanks for listening now go back to your shitty jobs shitty jobs shitty, shitty jobs check out riotcast.com for all of the best podcasts on the internet and they're all free